Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook, Uchiha, starting from Tobarama Jinchuriki. Chapter 21 The three Magatama Sharingan of Uchiha Yashura was filled with murderous intent, and the cold power of the eyes hit Ching Shui, and the temperature of the entire training ground seemed to drop a few points. In the ninja world, San Magatama Uchiha has a terrifying reputation. If you are one-on-one, -on -one, run away first. Only two Junin can try to fight him in a flanking manner, one in front of the other, depending on the situation. Jisui stood in front of Ching Shui, raised the Kodachi in his hand, and narrowed his eyes. Jisui, don't be rude to senior. Ching Shui pulled Zishui behind him, turned around and looked at him in warning, his eyes flashing red. The meaning is obvious, you are not allowed to expose your Sharingan. Jisui pursed his lips and gently pulled Ching Shui's sleeve to show that he understood. Senior 8th generation, this is the training ground of the Ching Shui family. It is usually a small place for our brothers to practice. How could you come here by mistake today? Ching Shui turned his head, looked directly into Uchiha Yashura's eyes without hesitation, and said slowly, if I remember correctly, I posted a very warning sign at the door, indicating that this is the place where Ching Shui's family belongs. Quote. So, is the 8th generation senior here to exchange sword skills, or is he just looking for an excuse to have a fight with me? Ching Shui's tone was still polite, but his eyes became sharp. Although his character is currently, Uchiha Tobarama, who is proficient in the will of fire, it does not mean that he must maintain a smiling attitude towards the enemies who come knocking on his door. Ching Shui's training ground is very atmospheric, and there is no possibility of getting lost, and this unkind visitor is Uchiha Yashura, the backbone of the hawkish Uchiha. Is it because of my criticism of the Sharingan? Or is it because some Sengoku antiques are dissatisfied with my water escape and fighting methods? This is to force me to educate. Ching Shui snorted coldly in his heart, and the fighting spirit surged into his heart. Coincidentally, Recently Ching Shui really planned to find an opportunity to have a serious battle with a powerful Junin, so as to weigh his own worth and give himself an accurate reference. With Ching Shui's current strength, in this ninja world, which is comparable to a dark forest, with only water escape, Genjutsu, and Sharingan, it still doesn't make him feel safe enough. HMPH. Dot kid, that's not important. What's important is that your current thoughts are dangerous and need to be corrected. After Uchiha Yashura finished speaking, his expression became a little tense. He was an Uchiha Magatama who was nearly 30 years old, and Uchiha Satsuna actually asked him to deal with a child who had not graduated from a ninja school. If Satsuna Uchiha's attitude was not firm and Ching Shui had beaten Obito, the future hawk, Yashura Uchiha really didn't want to carry out this mission. In his opinion, losing is impossible, but winning is also a shame. No matter how talented Ching Shui is, even if he kills Uchiha Obito, a double Magatama, he still has the title of a ninja school student. The Uchiha clan generally still advocates confrontation between the strong, and it is shameful for others to bully the weak within the clan. Ji Shui's little face turned red with anger. If Ching Shui hadn't stopped him with his eyes, Ji Shui would have wanted to curse him with curse words that he was not very skilled at. Isn't this bullying an honest person? I was practicing swordsmanship with my dear brother at home, and suddenly a three Magatama guy broke in. Who could withstand this? Even Senju Tobarama sneered and commented, The Uchiha clan has fallen to such an extent, let the three Magatama deal with the children of the ninja school. This kind of ridiculous magnanimity and magnanimity is incompatible with Uchiha Madara's rise to power during the Warring States period. It was such a long time ago. From this detail alone, I can conclude that with Monkey and Danzo joining forces, the current Uchiha clan will not be able to make any trouble. Kid, there's no need to be afraid of him. I'll tell you how to deal with him. You can't lose with me here. Ching Shui smiled handsomely. Tobarama, I have learned your water escape and illusion skills, so don't worry about me. I also have the sword skills of you and Uchiha Izuna, and not to mention the double Magatama Sharingan. I... I am very happy that you can care about me. I am very happy to see the will of fire in you. It seems that you have learned a lot of good qualities during the time you have been in my body. Senju Tobarama's expression is very exciting. After hearing the keywords water release and genjutsu, Senju Tobarama raised the corners of his mouth slightly. After hearing Uchiha Aizuna's name, 
his eyes became obviously dangerous, and he almost continued to spit out fragrance. And then, Ching Shui expressed that he was very happy that there was a will of fire in Qianju Fei, which really made him speechless. No, do you know who I am? I, Senju Tobarama, the de facto leader of the Senju clan, the second Hokage of Konoha Hidden Village. You, an Uchiha who doesn't even have a single hair, are still commenting on me, right? Back then, I was confused when Izuna Uchiha looked at me and didn't understand the value of it. But the strange thing is that Senju Tobarama was not angry, but waved his hand and said with a slight smile, Go away, boy, if you lose this time, don't talk to me about the will of fire. Quote, I tell you, no matter in Uchiha, Senju, Konoha or the ninja world, only the winner can talk about the will of fire. The loser has no right to speak. Ching Shui nodded in agreement, then shook his head in surprise. Tobarama, your words are not in line with the will of fire. I have to teach you. Boy, I'm talking to you, didn't you hear me? Uchiha Yashura shouted coldly. If you don't have the guts to face me, just come to the clan meeting next week and apologize for your remarks in front of the clan. This matter will be over. You are still just a student of the ninja school. The family will not make things difficult for you. As long as you return from your lost ways, you can even be trained. Uchiha Yashura looked sincere, as if he was unwilling to fight Ching Shui. In fact, this is indeed the case. Although Yashura Uchiha is a hawkish Uchiha, he has no habit of bullying children in the clan. But what he didn't expect was. Ching Shui picked up Muramasa, made a beautiful sword dance, and said slowly, you disturb the conversation between my friend and I, senior. Although Yashura Senpei you have betrayed the pride of the Uchiha clan, I cannot disrespect the honor of my family name. It is useless to say more, so draw your sword. Uchiha Yashura's face turned a little hot. The glory of the Uchiha clan makes Ching Shui unable to avoid fighting, but he uses his identity as a three Magatama to find trouble with the children of the clan. This is no different from a rogue. Kid, I am also entrusted by others. But since we have fought, I will not hold back. Uchiha Yashura pulled out the sword seriously. As soon as he said the words, he turned into an afterimage and moved towards Ching Shui at high speed. Ching Shui snorted coldly and rushed forward without dodge. Isn't it just a sword fight? Dare to fight with me, Uchiha Ching Shui, in a sword fight. Do you have the strength? The two swords collided firmly together. Uchiha Yashura adopted the most direct method of warfare. Relying on the speed and strength he thought he could crush Ching Shui, he wanted to defeat the enemy with one move in the most primitive and irresistible way. Any exquisite technique or swordsmanship must be based on strength. Otherwise, it will be like flowers in the water or the moon in the mirror, which may look fancy but will actually break when touched. But judging from the horrified expression on Uchiha Yashura's face at this moment, his plan failed. Ching Shui held the knife with both hands, and the muscles in his arms bulged slightly. Muramasa firmly suppressed the blade of Yashura Uchiha, and said coldly, Senior, are you going to abandon all the pride and glory of Uchiha today? Quote, no matter who the opponent is, since he has taken action, let's go all out in the name of Uchiha. Uchiha Yashura's face was ugly, and he tried his best to resist Ching Shui's power, cursing in his heart, I have already used all my strength. Are you a fool from the Senju clan? Why are you so strong? You still say things like this, how do you want me to step down? Just when Uchiha Yashura's mind was slightly disturbed by Ching Shui's words, Ching Shui's extremely powerful and heavy sword suddenly withdrew its force, but Uchiha Yashura was still pouring strength forward, and his center of gravity could not be recovered in time, and his whole body suddenly fell forward. Ching Shui's body is like a swimming dragon, which comes from the enhanced double magatama and motor nerves, which make his thinking and vision extremely clear when moving, it can almost be regarded as slow motion. A cruel and cold knife was lifted up from the side of Uchiha Yashura's abdomen. This is going to disembowel him. The alarm bells in Uchiha Yashura's heart rang loudly, and the sixth sense from the ninja warned him crazily. The three magatama in his eyes turned crazily, and the whole person retreated backwards with all his strength. Aha! The sound of clothes being torn was heard, and Yashura Uchiha retreated more than ten meters back, looking at Ching Shui with fear in his eyes. At this moment, Muramasa roughly cut a scar as deep as half a finger from his abdomen to his chest. Blood kept pouring out, 
soaking the ground of the training ground red. Kid, you pissed me off. Uchiha Yashura endured the pain, tore open his elegant top with quick movements, and quickly made a simple hemostatic bandage for the wound. In terms of swordsmanship, you are at least as good as a junin in the clan, and your strength is not like that of a kid from a ninja school. In this competition, I did bully the small, but this is for the future of the Uchiha clan. And as you said, as an Uchiha, since you are fighting, you must go all out. If you apologize, I will talk to you seriously after I win. But now, I'm getting serious. The three Magatama in Uchiha Yashura's eyes rotated violently. At this moment, his dynamic vision was greatly improved. The bloodthirsty red light locked onto Ching Shui's figure. This is the feeling of oppression when San Magatama Uchiha is dual. In one-on-one -on -one situations, enemies with insufficient illusion resistance cannot even look directly at Uchiha. They can only hide their heads and run around passively being beaten throughout the whole process, let alone defeat Uchiha. And even if the illusion resistance is high enough, the dynamic vision and copying ability of the three Magatama Sharingan can provide Uchiha with a large amount of intelligence information, and firmly grasp the upper hand when the enemy first starts to move. The copying of the Sharingan can not only target ninjutsu, but the enemy's taijutsu will also be copied. You are a genius, but facing my eyes, all your tricks will be useless. The whole temperament of Yashiro Uchiha has changed. He is confident and cold. Experience the power of the Sharingan. No matter how proud a genius is, he will hate the tragic fate of not having the Sharingan. The corners of Ching Shui's lips raised unconsciously, and he whispered to Senju Tobarama in his body, Tobarama, I heard that Uchiha Aizuna seemed to have said something similar to you back then. Yes, he told me many times, and the last time I heard it was before he was slashed through the chest by the flying thunder god. Kianju Fajian smiled knowingly, folded his arms, and said in a calm but proud tone, Ching Shui's fingers were flying, and several seals were completed in an instant. Illusion. The art of darkness. Darkness descended on the earth, and the darkness that made it invisible solidified the twisted smile of Yashiro Uchiha. But it's not over yet. Ching Shui did not rush to attack, but continued to form the seal. Water release, the art of hidden mist. Thick fog covered the training ground, visibility dropped rapidly, and eyes could not penetrate even within one meter. Although Shisui on the side was not covered by the dark walking jutsu, he could not avoid the Karigakur jutsu that covered the entire scene, so he quietly hid in the corner and silently chose to watch. As the first Uchiha to be beaten by Ching Shui, he knew this feeling very well. That's the bad mood when someone has mastered the rhythm, making mistakes every step of the way, and trying hard to resist can only end up in embarrassment. The little Shisui sat leisurely on the ground and looked in the direction of Uchiha Yashura, with a trace of pity in his eyes. Uchiha Yashura wanted to taunt Ching Shui, but the unavoidable darkness covered his vision. Ha, huh, I'm just a genjutsu, but I dare to do it in front of the three Magatama Sharingan. Uchiha Yashura smiled ferociously, the red light in his eyes shone brightly, and his pupil power was like a sharp blade tearing into the darkness. But the darkness was not penetrated by the power of the eyes. On the contrary, Ching Shui's slash had arrived. The roaring slash struck Yashura Uchiha from the top of his head, with the intention of splitting him in two. Uchiha Yashura was suddenly shocked. He really didn't expect that the three Magatama Sharingan could not dispel Ching Shui's illusion. What he didn't know was that Senju Tobarama's technique was improved from Senju Hashirama's illusion technique, and also mixed with some properties of the Uzumaki family's sealing technique. It was not just an illusion technique. It is still very difficult to quickly defeat this move simply by using eye skills. At least, it took some time for Uchiha Yashura to adapt to the darkness for the first time. The eighth generation of Uchiha's eyes were about to burst, and he increased his pupil power to the maximum in a short time, and bloodshot eyes appeared in his eyes. But even so, he could only see a little of the trajectory of Muramasa's blade. With a ruthless slash, Uchiha Yashura rolled sideways without grace, dodging the fatal blow in a way similar to a lazy donkey rolling. But this time, there was another bruise on his arm. What the hell, I remembered, this is recorded in the clan's classics, Senju Tobarama's illusion technique developed specifically for Uchiha. How could this brat do this? Uchiha Yashura gritted his teeth, but felt a strange sense of joy in his heart. Fortunately, 
Senju Tobarama is dead. If this fool is allowed to live for another 20 or 30 years, I don't know how many more spells will be released to harm Uchiha. Yashira Senpei, you need to concentrate. Ching Shui's voice sounded in the darkness, ethereal and cold. I don't want to kill you, but don't be distracted, otherwise, I will be forced to stain my hands with the blood of my own race. Next time, I'll chop your left shoulder. This fool. Uchiha Yashira endured the bone-piercing pain and forced himself to calm down. As a Sanmagatama, he had not been in such a difficult situation for a long time. Ching Shui's technique and sword skills greatly exceeded his expectations. Although Uchiha Chingsui's illusion is weird, the three Magatama can definitely be broken, but I need time. We can't let him continue to control the situation like this. My injury is very bad. I'm afraid I will lose too much blood if I delay it any longer, and then everything will be over. Uchiha Yashura suddenly formed a seal, spitting out a large amount of gray smoke from his mouth, adding another layer of barrier blocking his vision in the mist and darkness. Fire Release Dust Hidden Jutsu Uchiha Yashura ferociously extracted chakra and continued to spit out smoke until the entire training ground was covered. When darkness limited his vision, Yashura Uchiha responded wisely. Under the shroud of smoke, Ching Shui, who lost his vision, was pulled back to the same starting line as him. Don't worry, this is the dust hiding technique, not the ash accumulation technique. The smoke cannot be detonated. Looking at the surrounding fog, Kianju Tojian shook his head with a smile. I forgot about the Karigakur Jutsu. He is not a brainless Uchiha, but he will still be in trouble when he encounters an insidious brat like you. The particles that make up the gray mist meet the mist of the green water, and the mist quickly dissolves the smoke, turning it into a gray mist. And Uchiha Yashura seized this short opportunity and tried his best to activate the three Magatama Sharingan, so that dense bloodshot eyes climbed up to the whites of his eyes, which looked terrifying. Boy, let me see what else you can do. The power of the eyes finally broke through the darkness in front of him. Uchiha Yashura greedily enjoyed the taste of light, but the gray mist that came into view made him stunned. Uchiha Yashura originally wanted to use smoke to delay time, but as long as the darkness was broken, the smoke blown away by the wind would not be an obstacle to his advantage and eye power. But, the misty water vapor absorbed the dust-hidden technique, making it look even heavier, and the oppressive feeling it brought was no less than the darkness of the illusion. Could it be that all my actions are under Uchiha Qingshui's calculations? Uchiha Yashura was shocked, and with layers of calculations, his three Magatama Sharingan seemed like a decoration. It could even be said to have become a burden, making him fall into Ching Shui's rhythm. This sense of contrast that subverted his lifelong understanding made Uchiha Yashura feel an emotion that he did not dare to face. Fear, at the moment when he lost consciousness, Ching Shui's blade struck his left shoulder from an unknown position as promised. The thick shoulder muscles were cut off, and Muramasa cheered as he drank the blood of Yashura Uchiha. Uchiha Yashura suddenly turned around and slashed, but the katana in his hand failed to capture Ching Shui. The powerful and heavy sword only made a hunting sound as it chopped into the air. In the training ground, it became calm again. Uchiha Yashura forcibly cheered up. What he could hear were the clear calls of larks in the distance, the trembling of leaves in the breeze, and even the cries of vendors in the distance. But there was no sound about Ching Shui. A huge sense of absurdity arose in Uchiha Yashura's heart, as if he was in a cage independent of this world. No, absolutely impossible. I won't lose to a brat like you. Feeling the uncontrollable fear in his heart, Yashura Uchiha could not bear his cowardice and continued to spit out a large amount of gray smoke crazily. Attention, this time it's the ashes burning technique. The moment Uchiha Yashura took action, Senju Tobarama warned, excessive temperature will evaporate water vapor. Don't be too confident in Karigakur's art, kid. Cheng Shui nodded, understood. Fire escape, fire extinguishment. The next moment, Uchiha Yashura brazenly used fierce flames, exactly as Senju Tobarama said, forcibly evaporating the mist and detonating the entire training ground. Fires all over the sky engulfed the earth, and the sweeping tongues of fire attacked any material present at the scene regardless of friend or foe. Finally, after Uchiha Yashura's all-out effort, he successfully broke through the fog, and a pair of three Magatama saw the light again. This time, I will never lose. 
Yashiro Uchiha's body was covered with burn marks, and his eyes frantically scanned for traces of Ching Shui, but he saw a scene that almost collapsed him. Beside Ching Shui and Ji Shui, the solid wall of flowing water blocked all the flames for them. There were no traces of injury, and even their hairstyles were not messed up. Ching Shui lifted Muramasa, looked at Uchiha Yashiro with pity, and sighed, Yashiro Senpei, I am very disappointed in you. As an Uchiha, you have lost the wisdom to fight. Fear and anger will not bring you strength, they are just the inner wailing of the weak to escape. Uchiha Yashura covered his shoulders, and the Magatama in his eyes trembled. He really hated this feeling, and was also extremely afraid of this kind of battle. Ching Shui was like a prophet, his actions were seen in advance, and every move he made was under the enemy's control. I believe that for a powerful Uchiha, the Sharingan can only be one of his weapons. Even without the Sharingan, the ninjas of the Uchiha clan should be strong men who look down upon the ninja world. However, since Yashira Senpei loves the Sharingan so much, then I will fight you in the Uchiha way. Magatama slowly appeared in Ching Shui's eyes. His strong pupils looked directly at Uchiha Yashira's Sharingan without flinching, and he scolded sternly. Pick up your sword, look at how distracted you are, you don't deserve to be called Uchiha. Uchiha Yashura obediently raised his katana and stared blankly at Ching Shui's Sharingan, his whole body in confusion. What's going on? Uchiha Ching Sui actually has the Sharingan. He, this rebellious boy who criticizes the Sharingan, actually has such powerful eye power. Ching Shui's figure flashed, carrying Muramasa, the red light in his eyes flashed, and the blade ruthlessly slashed at Uchiha Yashura, attacking and reprimanding at the same time. Sword skills must be combined with the power of the eye. If you only know how to use the Sharingan, then you are the slave of the power of the eye. Uchiha Yashura was dizzy. Ching Shui's pupil power made him in a dazed state, his mind spinning. Immediately, Muramasa's blade tore through his flesh and blood again. Calm down, use the Sharingan to copy my taijutsu and break the rhythm of my attack. Ching Shui pointed Uchiha Yashura like this, while Shisui on the side watched this scene intently, his eyes full of admiration, and he was like a sponge, greedily absorbing knowledge. Where's your pupil technique? You're at a disadvantage in a duel. Use illusion techniques to interfere with the enemy and create distance. Can you only use the pupil technique? Don't you know how to form seals and use ninjutsu? Try to form seals with one hand. The swordsmanship is unstructured, and your reaction cannot keep up with the dynamic vision of the Sharingan, so try to slow down the rhythm of the sword fight. Ching Shui pointed at Yashiro Uchiha carefully. But whenever Ching Shui mentioned something to him, Muramasa would make a deep incision on his body. This was a painful tuition. Do not know why, Uchiha Yashiro recalled when his grandfather taught him how to practice when he was young. Yashiro, seriously study sword skills with grandpa. You will definitely become a great ninja in the future. Grandpa's sword skills were mentioned by the patriarch of the clan, Izuna. At that time, my grandpa was still a young man, and he didn't know how to challenge Mr. Izuna. Although I was beaten badly in the end, Mr. Izuna taught me a lot. These precious experiences helped my grandpa survive from the Warring States period. Come down. The first one is the combination of eye power and sword skills. Grandpa's suggestions seemed to overlap with Ching Shui's voice, and each one was very similar. Uchiha Yashiro was trembling all over, his body was covered with blood marks, and the appearance of Ching Shui in his eyes also changed. It was as if Uchiha Izuna, who was worshipping in the ancestral hall of his ancestral home, walked out. But taking a closer look, Ching Shui looks a bit like the Senju Tobarama remembered by every Uchiha. Uchiha Yashiro collapsed. He was so weak that he knelt on the ground, looked at Ching Shui in confusion, and murmured to himself, Who are you? Uchiha Yashiro was cut with many wounds by Muramasa's blade, and his whole body was covered in blood. His self-destructive ash-burning technique detonated a fire and dried up the blood from the wound, so that his body surface was covered with brown blood scabs. His handsome and steady face was now as embarrassed as if he was hiding on the battlefield. Deserters among the corpses. Uchiha Yashura knelt on the ground helplessly. The feeling of powerlessness caused by the massive blood loss made his brain begin to suffocate. The oppression caused by Ching Shui reminded him of the precious memories in his life, and extremely real hallucinations appeared in his eyes. He froze on the ground, 
looking at the blood-stained Muramasa in Ching Shui's hand and the red light in his eyes. The look of Ching Shui in his eyes was very much like the portrait that Uchiha Yatsushiro's grandfather had drawn for Uchiha Aizuna. During the Warring States period, when Uchiha Aizuna taught the thorns in the clan, he would do so calmly while beating and talking. He conquered every unconvinced clan member from the body to the mind. He was strict and yet convincing, leading the Uchiha clan. Become more united and stronger. At this moment, Uchiha Yashura realized belatedly. Although Ching Shui was only 12 years old, his body shape could be considered that of an adult ninja. With ape-like arms and wasp waist, broad shoulders, and cold and handsome features, the advantages of Senju and Uchiha's bloodline are fully reflected in Ching Shui. Coupled with the charming Sharingan and Muramasa who is still bleeding from his hands. Before stepping into this venue, in the heart of Yashiro Uchiha, Ching Shui was still a childish child, but now. Ching Shui slowly walked towards Uchiha Yashura, his face expressionless. Seeing Ching Shui walking over, Yashura Uchiha felt a huge panic in his heart. If Ching Shui had been using Senju Tobarama's fighting method, then this San Magatama Uchiha could still maintain his sanity and not be so rude. Because Senju Tobarama is the public enemy of Uchiha, even if Uchiha Yashura is beaten badly, he will not show such a cowardly expression to the enemy and still have to retain the last dignity. But, when Ching Shui's image suddenly resembled that of Uchiha Aizuna, the nature of the whole thing changed. Uchiha Yashura is like a child who was caught by his grandfather for doing something wrong. Even if he was spanked and felt unconvinced, he still lowered his face and begged for mercy without any psychological burden. After all, no matter what you say, this is your own business. Yashura Uchiha, I am very disappointed in you. As the three Magatama who has been famous in the clan for a long time, you have performed so poorly. Ching Shui spoke coldly while instilling fire escape chakra into the blade. Muramasa's good chakra conductivity caused the blade to ignite fierce flames, and the high temperature dyed the ground that the tip of the blade did not touch. Scorch marks spread along Ching Shui's steps. It looks like, it really looks like. Kianju Tobarama said with emotion from the bottom of his heart. He had heard about what Uchiha Aizuna had done to gain power over the Uchiha clan. After the death of his father, Senju Tobarama, Senju Tobarama even imitated the essence of it. In his opinion, even if Uchiha Aizuna was here, he would generally follow this process. Treat guests, behead people, accept them as dogs. The card being played now is beheading, and the one who beheads is the head of the pride in his heart. A trace of fear arose in Qian Shu Feijian's heart. In the past few days, Senju Tobarama's guard has weakened due to Ching Shui's attitude and behavior toward Nohara Rin, Metkai, and Yumino Akaku, but in any case, he does not want to see an Uchiha Izumi appear in the Uchiha clan. Nay. That's just too dangerous, but as if to echo what Senju Tobarama was thinking. A ball of water escape chakra emerged from Ching Shui's left hand, spinning violently, forming a sharp turbulence that buzzed in his hand. This is one of Senju Tobarama's secret water escape skills, Hard Vortex Water Blade. Senju Tobarama was stunned and looked at this scene thoughtfully. After a long time, he curled his lips and said, TCH, let's continue to observe you for now, boring kid. And at this moment, Ching Shui had already stood in front of Uchiha Yashura and said in an indifferent tone, Who am I? This matter is not important, but you are the person who betrayed the glory of Uchiha. Uchiha Yashura, how do you think I should deal with you? Ching Shui looked at Uchiha Yashura's heart. The water blade in his hand rotated faster and faster, and then moved his eyes to his neck. Muramasa, wrapped in flames, slowly moved to Uchiha Yashura's throat. Uchiha Yashura swallowed hard, looked up at this man whom he could not see through at all, and said with difficulty, I, I don't know, I don't know. If you want to live, I tell you to answer. Ching Shui flicked his wrist, dissipating Muramasa's flames and the turbulence in his hands, but he inserted Muramasa's blade into his throat, only about an inch away from the throat. Refers to the distance. Uchiha Yashura felt Muramasa's coldness and looked up helplessly at Ching Shui's indifferent Sharingan. At this moment, he had no doubt that Ching Shui in front of him would definitely kill him if he heard an unsatisfactory answer. Who sent you here, what is the purpose of coming, and why did you agree? The elder of the Setsuna clan forced me to come. 
he believes that your remarks and existence are not conducive to the atmosphere of the Uchiha clan, so asking me to attack you is also to stand up for Uchiha Obito. I agreed because I think Konoha has gone too far now. The restrictions and surveillance on the Uchiha clan are becoming more and more blatant. They don't even give us a chance to become Hokage. The future of the clan is gloomy, so I can only support the hawks. Ching Shui nodded slowly. Hawk, what a hawk. Let me ask you, who is better, me or you? Uchiha Yashura lowered his head. Okay, who is better, me or Sarutobi Hirazan? Ching Shui used the edge of the knife to lift his chin, raised his eyes, and looked at her. Uchiha Yashura pursed his lips and said honestly, Don't underestimate the third Hokage, he is a man called Shinobu. To his surprise, Ching Shui nodded in agreement. Okay, then Shimura Danzo, Jiraiya, Orochimaru, Tsunade, Namikaze Minato, Uzumaki Kashina, Hitaki Sakumo and I will who is better in Mito. Uchiha Yashura was silent. The people Ching Shui mentioned were all ninjas who had been famous in Konoha for a long time, and there was even one person who even the most extreme Uchiha was unwilling to mention. Is Ching Shui very strong? Very strong, but it's not enough. Then, let me ask you again, in the entire Uchiha clan, who is stronger than those nine people? In other words, in the Uchiha clan, who is stronger than me? You said you support the Hawks, but what do you support it with? With the three Magatama you were proud of. Ching Shui sighed, and looked at Yashura Uchiha with a look of regret as if he hated the iron. Uchiha Yashura was silent, his mood was like sinking into an iceberg, so cold from the inside out that he could not even feel the pain in his body for the time being. This is a very strange feeling. This obvious comparison of combat power, before Ching Shui questioned him like this today, Yashura Uchiha did not realize that the gap between the two sides was so obvious, so obvious that it was ridiculous. Although the current Uchiha clan still has some three Magatama, due to the second Hokage's security policy, most of the clan members lack actual training in daily practice and their combat capabilities are questionable. In the thousand-year history of the Uchiha clan, it seems that the only time when a pair of Mangekyo Sharingan did not exist is now. To put it bluntly, it's really hard to use. Three Magatama, no matter how powerful the eye power is, it's just a three Magatama. Even Ching Shui stood in front of Yashura Uchiha. Uchiha Yashura recalled in his mind the three Magatama he knew, Tehuo, Anahu, Setsuna, Fugaku. Can these Uchiha who are stronger than him really easily defeat Ching Shui? And if they can't even take down Ching Shui, what can the hawks of the Uchiha clan do to challenge Konoha head on? With passion. Uchiha Yashura shed tears slowly, not knowing whether it was for himself or for the Uchiha clan. Ching Shui, who was still a little angry at first, couldn't help but laugh when he saw this really funny scene. Yashura Uchiha, how old are you, why are you still crying? The Uchiha clan is finished. I, I am ashamed of my grandfather, I am ashamed of my ancestors. Uchiha Yashura's tears seemed to have burst. Together with the sadness of being beaten by Ching Shui today, mixed with the deep concern for his family, he cried happily, feeling aggrieved like a 30-year-old child. Stupid. Ching Shui slowly shook his head. Even Sarutobi Hirazan, can he beat those few people I mentioned combined? You still don't understand the basic principles of Konoha's operation. If you want to change the status of the Uchiha clan, it's very simple. Either you have the power like Uchiha Madara, sweeping away all the monsters and monsters with absolute grace, and reaching the top of the ninja world. Either you abide by Konoha's rules of the game and become one of them. The Yashiro Uchiha was lying on the ground with his arms and legs spread out, as if in ruins, and said in a low voice, how could I not understand? I understand, if you want to become Hokage, you must become a member of their master disciple inheritance. This this is Konoha's unspoken rule. Even the famous Hitaki Sakumo, no discerning person would think that he could become Hokage. This is Konoha. So, what can we, the Uchiha clan, do? Not to mention Hokage, even if it is the position of Hokage's assistant or advisor, aren't our Uchiha clan worthy of a high-level position in Konoha? We are the core of building the village. In the end, Uchiha Yashura said what was in his heart and what most of the Uchiha clan felt. It's not that they don't know that Uchiha basically can't be Hokage, but isn't he still worthy of a high-level position? 
But the problem is that the requirements for being a consultant are almost the same as being a Hokage. You have to be in the Hokage Master Disciple System. This is the so-called core power circle, and the Uchiha clan is obviously not in this system. This sense of despair caused many members of the Uchiha clan to lose hope, and they gradually selectively ignored the gap in combat power and used so-called tough hawks to cover up their panic. Uchiha Yashura is such a typical example. Ching Shui looked down at Yashura Uchiha who was in tears and shook his head, don't you see clearly? How could you do such a stupid thing? I have to do this just because I can see clearly. Yashura Uchiha replied with tears, his voice twitching. You still don't understand. The reason why you are desperate is because the Uchiha clan has not been included in the Hokage Master Disciple System. If it were before I appeared, you would have some reason to think so. But I show up, do you think I'm going to get this opportunity? Uchiha Yashura's crying stopped suddenly and dramatically, eh. An Uchiha who uses the will of fire as his trademark, openly criticizes the Sharingan, is gentle to civilian ninjas, and has attracted the attention of three generations in the ninja school. The most important point is that Ching Shui is a descendant of Uchiha Cage, a direct grandson. If you put it forcefully, Ching Shui was born in the Hokage's master disciple inheritance system, and it was the most solid blood relationship. Yashura Uchiha stared blankly at Ching Shui. Ching Shui's past actions seemed to have gone through an electric shock in his mind. Looking at it now, every move contained too many profound meanings. He couldn't see through Ching Shui at all, just like he couldn't recognize whether Ching Shui in the hallucination was Uchiha Aizuna or Senju Toborama. I don't want to abandon the Uchiha clan, but you can't hold me back, Yashura. Ching Shui squatted beside him and said slowly. Whether it's in terms of talent, combat power, background, or brain power, only I can save Uchiha. I'm telling you so much because I don't want the family to lose a three Magatama. You are not a waste like Uchiha Satsuna who ties his own desires to the future of the family. You still have the value of saving. But I'm telling you now, I feel chilled and a little tired. Ching Shui sighed dully, his eyes full of sadness. Uchiha Yashura became anxious instantly. Regardless of the pain of tearing his wounds, he climbed up and looked at Ching Shui eagerly while half kneeling, no, no. Ching Shui Sama, Ching Shui, you can't. This is the family's problem, no, no, this is my problem. It's the problem of that Setsuna Uchiha. You can't lose heart to the family. I beg you, you can't lose heart to the family. Uchiha Yashura looked at Ching Shui with a tired look on his face. An extremely strong sense of guilt and regret engulfed his heart. He eagerly wanted to do something. He had a hunch that if Ching Shui really fell in love with the Uchiha clan, he would probably become a famous sinner in the history of the clan. At this moment, Uchiha Yashura saw Muramasa's blade. He gritted his teeth and felt fierce in his heart. He shouted, Ching Shui Kun, let me apologize to you with my life. I just ask you to forgive the Uchiha clan. When he tried to raise his chest and hit Muramasa's blade, Ching Shui kicked him to the ground and said calmly, I don't need my tribe to apologize to me with their lives. If you think what I said is right, just turn over. Uchiha Yashura was stunned. What were he doing when he turned over? But he turned around quickly and lay flat on the ground, not daring to move. The green light flickered on his back. While Ching Shui used the palm immortal technique to heal his wounds, he murmured helplessly to himself, I still feel soft, Yashura. Feeling the warmth coming from his back, Uchiha Yashura dug his fingers into the ground, tears mixed with the blood on his face, and an expression of regret burst out on his face. At this moment, he felt like he was the biggest fool in the Uchiha clan. Ching Shui Kun, wouldn't this be too unfair to you? Yashura Uchiha looked at Ching Shui with an expression of reverence, hesitation on his face, and even a hint of distress. It's nothing, just put on new clothes and leave. This is all for the Uchiha clan. Ching Shui stuffed the clothes Shisui had taken into Uchiha Yashura's hands and patted his shoulder hard. In the eighth generation, there is a moth in the clan and it still occupies a high position. This is an extremely unfavorable situation for the family and us. My strength is not enough to quell the endless troubles, so I need you to help me hide it. My personal reputation is not important. A little concession will be more conducive to my plan. But if you think a certain clan member has a need to fight for it, then try to do it coveredly. However, 
there is no need to be mentally burdened. Although I believe in your ability, I must be the one to shoulder the future of the Uchiha clan. Ching Shui sighed helplessly and showed a slightly tired but confident smile. Uchiha Yashura looked at Ching Shui blankly, his eyes seemed to have tears again, and he gritted his teeth, Yes, Ching Shui Kun, I will definitely do what you said. Ching Shui's order to Uchiha Yashura was simple. When he returned to Uchiha Satsuna, he concealed Ching Shui's strength and described it as a slightly difficult but still stable situation to suppress. In this case, Satsuna Uchiha's attention will be temporarily diverted from him. Although it is not difficult to deal with Yashura Uchiha, if the fear of Satsuna, an extreme hawk, is aroused, there will be more clan members in the future. To provoke, even more extreme behavior. Ching Shui is not afraid of the so-called Three Magatama, but it is a trouble with no profit, and it is more likely to cause him to expose his own strength and trump card. But in Yashura Uchiha's view, Ching Shui made a huge sacrifice. The reputation of strength is almost the lifeblood of the Uchiha clan, but Ching Shui did not hesitate to give up the opportunity to become famous with his old three Magatama, and even expressed his trust in this fool who was provoking him just a moment ago. Bearing humiliation and bearing heavy burdens, abandoning personal honor and disgrace for the sake of the family, yet being strong and gentle. This is the image of Ching Shui in the hearts of Yashura Uchiha. Wearing clean clothes, Uchiha Yashura silently looked at the wounds that had been carefully healed by Ching Shui. He slowly but firmly knelt on the ground in a soiled posture and said in a deep voice, Ching Shui Kun, as long as you have orders, Yashura will not hesitate to go through fire and water. I know that although my talent and wisdom are not comparable to yours, please let me, a sinner, bear some of your burden. People like Ching Shui Jun should not be alone along the way. Ching Shui Jun, you don't owe anything to the family, but those deceived clan members owe you a lot. Ching Shui slowly but forcefully pulled up Yashura Uchiha, with a hint of relief and a smile. It is precisely because of clan members like you that I am willing to bear the fate of Uchiha, Yashura. Uchiha Yashura's heart trembled, and he turned around suddenly, Ching Shui Kun, please pay attention to your health, don't exhaust yourself. After a moment, Looking at the leaving figure of Yashura Uchiha, Ching Shui smiled slightly and thought in his heart. This is Uchiha, as long as I am stronger than him and give him respect and steps, this life will be mine. Although it's just a three Magatama, it can become a pawn that I place among the Eagle Clan to monitor their actions for me. Yashura also has some talents, and maybe he can become a pretty good combat force in the future. Ching Shui thought about the information Yashura just said and narrowed his eyes. Uchiha Satsuna, why did this old antique who was once played by Toborama jump out again? What did Uchiha Fugaku think that he allowed a waste like him to take power? I remember that Uchiha Fugaku at this period should still have hope for Konoha. He shouldn't not want me to get close to the Hokage line. But he didn't stop it. Could it be that he is hesitating about his attitude towards Konoha at this moment? After thinking for a while, Ching Shui laughed dumbly and gave up the idea of trying to figure out Uchiha Fugaku, the clan leader. Throughout the thousand-year history of the Uchiha ninja world, he is probably the only Uchiha who has opened the kaleidoscope and never used Suzano. In terms of cowardice and hesitation, Ching Shui is willing to call him the strongest. Normal people cannot understand the operation of a psychopath. After all, this is an abstract figure who can send his son to be brainwashed, turn the clan into chaos, and finally make up his mind to seize power with arms and then commit suicide. If you want to understand his thinking, you may have to lower your IQ first. Toborama, how am I doing? Let me comment. Ching Shui shook his head and applied to start interacting with Senju Toborama. That's it. I still need to remind you how to break his fire escape. The skill of winning people's hearts is good. It reminds me of a fool I killed. Senju Toborama snorted coldly. Kid, I don't resent you for making up your mind to get close to Monkey. Everyone has their own demands. Kagami, Danzo, and Monkey were all the same as you back then. You didn't block me. I was surprised by the perception. Ching Shui did not answer the question, and rolled his eyes. If you don't talk about anything else, Toborama, you are such a stingy person. I just imitated Uchiha Aizuna's signature moves, how come you still show your murderous intent? Oh, there are people living in my body. 
They don't even teach me ninjutsu, and they don't let me learn other self-defense techniques. He is indeed the second-generation Hokage of Konoha, and he has the appearance of a domineering president. Sensho Toborama's expression froze, and he felt a little guilty for no reason, did he show it so obviously? But his face still looked like an iceberg, who wants to live in your body? Boy, you kidnapped me to this place, you should seriously protect Konoha and inherit the will of fire as an apology to me. Toborama, I have to say a few words when you talk about this. Even if I stand where I am, the woods a hundred meters away will burn because of my will of fire. Ching Shui looked at Qian Shu Tobijian's expression as if he was constipated and laughed out loud, don't be dissatisfied. The will of fire graduation exam will be held in two days. Do you want to try it too? It shouldn't be a big deal for you to fail, but it's certainly not as high as my score. Kid, if it weren't for me, I wouldn't be able to sum up the will of fire at the level of my elder brother. Sensho Toborama crossed his arms in a strong manner, as if he had a chance to win. The person standing in front of you is the first principal of Konoha Ninja School. Ching Shui shrugged, even if Toborama was the one who created the will of fire, so what? Times have changed. Nowadays, there is no old traditional will of fire, it's all the cutting-edge world. Hash, that night, Uchiha Yashiro woke up from his dream, I really deserve to die. Snapped, and in a certain valley in the ninja world. An old Uchiha man didn't sleep either. He was pondering whether Ching Shui, a butterfly, would cause a violent storm that would affect his plans. In the northernmost part of the peninsula country located in the Kingdom of Frost. In the huge valley known as the Mountain Cemetery, Madara Uchiha closed his eyes and meditated. With the transformation ability of countless white zetsus comparable to wood clones, and the ability to lurk on the earth at will, Uchiha Madara, although he does not leave home, has information about all parts of the ninja world. Uchiha Obito was the prey he had been eyeing for a long time. Ching Shui, who suddenly rose to prominence, also came into his sight due to Obito and his origins in the Uchiha clan, with his superior performance which aroused Uchiha Madara's extremely strong interest. As a lonely wandering soul of the previous era, Uchiha Madara watched the ninja world through White Zetsu's vision. In fact, it was a bit like an old man watching TV programs at home. He was so bored that he always had to change the channel to pass the time. As a Shira in the shinobi world, he really has no interest in watching those petty fights at the movie level. To Uchiha Madara, this is all children's play. It is a bit redundant to be a hypnosis program. It is better to watch Izuna, Hashirama's past letters to him. But recently, Konoha TV's Uchiha column has been the focus of Uchiha Madara's attention. It has successfully turned him into a die-hard fan. In addition to eating, going to the toilet, and sleeping every day, he turns on the white Zetsu TV and watches it fiercely. Among them, the show in which Ching Shui beat Uchiha Yashura and Obito made him find enthusiasm from his groggy life. He woke up from the state of eating and waiting to die, and his brain started to work at high speed again. Originally, Uchiha Madara planned to stay like this, use White Zetsu to slowly place himself in middle-level positions among the five major nations, lay out a plan for the third ninja war, blackmail Obito in one fell swoop, and cultivate a spokesperson. Uchiha Madara is very disgusted with his current aging body. If he didn't have to think of ways to plan for the future and couldn't use his strength to conquer the ninja world, he might have become a purple sand. But after seeing Ching Shui, Uchiha Madara had to admit that his mind was a little confused. In the eyes of the Uchiha clan's strongest patriarch in history, Ching Shui's talent was terrifying. At this age, he has eye power comparable to that of an ordinary three Magatama, as well as a considerable amount of chakra. His superb use of water escape is enough to prove his talent in ninjutsu. The brain is also very good, and the Yashira Uchiha who is almost 30 years old can play tricks at the age of 11, and easily accepts a dead soldier. The most important thing is that, in Uchiha Madara's opinion, Ching Shui really looks a lot like Uchiha Aizuna. Whether it's in terms of his handsome face or his attitude of subduing his tribe, the two are almost identical. It even caused a double image to appear in front of the eyes of the elderly Uchiha Madara, and the younger brother who united the hearts of Uchiha for him, was extremely loyal to him, and finally offered his eyes. The best brother in the world. If Ching Shui can be conquered, 
Uchiha Madara is even thinking about finding a way not to use Ching Shui as such a pure pawn and give him a good ending after the final infinite Tsukuyomi. Compared to Obito, who seemed to be too pure, Ching Shui was simply too fragrant. Isn't this just a young version of Izuna? If Ching Shui could agree to assist him, Uchiha Madara wouldn't even bother to look at Obito. Moreover, Uchiha Madara really doesn't want to see Ching Shui go astray. He is obviously the model of his younger brother Uchiha Izuna, but why is he now developing in the direction of Senju Tobarama's fool? It's tolerable, but it's intolerable. The evil Senju Tobarama is really a disgusting guy who can kill a thousand swords. Uchiha Madara cursed unreasonably. As he thought about it, his expression gradually became serious. This matter is not that simple. If an Uchiha with a brain like Obito were to be darkened, Uchiha Madara would feel very bored. Is it difficult to use his extreme personality and the darkness buried in his heart to trick a fool? But, in his heart, Ching Shui was a figure similar to Uchiha Izuna. Madara Uchiha was recalling, since he was a child, had he ever successfully deceived Izuna Uchiha? The more he recalled, the sadder Uchiha Madara's expression became. Compared to the traditional Uchiha brothers, Uchiha Izuna, the younger brother, was taking care of his elder brother. Even though his power was not as strong as his, he had always been his since childhood, emotional support. Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama, Uchiha Izuna and Senju Tobarama. Between these two pairs of brothers, the elder brother's personality can range from cold to passionate, but the two younger brothers are surprisingly consistent. Both are the external brains of the two older brothers, standing behind them to advise them and charge into battle. Uchiha Madara seems to have some resourcefulness and can black an obito, but in fact he is just a noob pecking each other, half a pound to half a pound. After losing Uchiha Izuna, he couldn't even take a single member of his clan with him when he rebelled against the village. This can reveal many problems. After a long time, Uchiha Madara, who looked solemn, laughed softly, his smile full of fighting spirit and excitement. Competing with your younger brother is the most fun, especially the cute baby version. Uchiha Madara, who had never successfully coaxed Uchiha Izuna in his life, felt the desire to conquer burning in his heart. We still need to be prepared on both sides, Uchiha Obito, let's make a backup option first. If this little guy Ching Shui is really close to Izuna's ingenuity, then things will not be successful easily. Uchiha Madara thought carefully, this was the last big gamble in his life. If the bet wins, then he will be the final winner in the ninja world. If he loses the bet, then the reincarnation I he opened with all his hard work will become the dust of the times. Uchiha Satsuna, this loser still carries my name around the city, ruining my original plan. Uchiha Obito is influenced by a brainless hawk like him. Although he will definitely fall into darkness, the intensity is not enough. He needs to feel the beauty of the world and then destroy everything he owns. Only extreme pain will have enough power. Come and do something for me. But the little girl he likes actually likes this little guy Ching Shui. Uchiha Obito will definitely not be able to snatch her away, but the power born from this jealousy is still not enough. Humph, this is the same as Quan Nai. He is always so popular. Well, Quan Nai didn't even leave any heirs. I really feel sorry for him. Uchiha Madara shook his head sadly, raised his palm, and grabbed a white Zetsu standing guard. Uchiha Obito wants love, then I will create one for him. Baiju howled, his chest was soaked in dark chakra, and he knelt on the ground. Let me think about it. There is a member of the Uchiha clan named Lin who has no ninja qualifications and is an orphan. As a loyal viewer of Uchiha TV, Uchiha Madara recalled a girl that many Uchiha clan members didn't know and sneered, said. Very well, Obito, for your love, let me help you realize your dream. As for the price, it is your life. Baizetsu's appearance evolved and turned into that of Uchiha Rin, but her originally mediocre facial features became more beautiful, and there was a hint of Nohara Rin between her eyebrows. Uchiha Madara waved his hand, go and win the heart of Uchiha Obito. Immediately, he began to think deeply, and his eyes showed the excitement brought by serious thinking. He was thinking, how to capture Ching Shui. Capturing a young version of his younger brother really got him excited. Ha 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 ha. Uchiha Madara's deep and joyful laughter echoed in the valley. Just when Uchiha Madara was thinking. 
Ching Shui suddenly woke up from his dream, and he lost his composure in a rare moment, just because of the electronic sound that sounded in his head. Perceives that Uchiha Madara has a strong possessive emotion towards the host, and binds it as a laning target. Ching Shui scanned the surroundings vigilantly. When he stared at the bright line target, Uchiha Madara in the system and confirmed that it was not a nightmare or hallucination, he shouldn't know whether he was happy or unhappy. His mood was very complicated. Putting aside the name, which sounds like Shira from the ninja world. Who can tell him why it is a possession, emotion and how to explain it? I'm super, old man, perverted old man. Or the one who is called the Shira of the ninja world. What to do? Waiting online, really urgent. Ching Shui slowly rubbed his face and reviewed his recent performance in detail, as well as the story between Uchiha Madara and Uchiha Obito. Calm down. Dot why am I being noticed by Uchiha Madara, and why is he becoming my laning target? The first possibility is that Uchiha Madara regards me as an advanced version of Uchiha Obito. Compared to his simple act of kindness like helping the old man, my current personality is full of the will of fire. He is do you think the kindness in my heart can lead to deeper darkness? Based on Uchiha Madara's character, he would choose a more powerful Uchiha as his spokesperson. After all, his plan couldn't be easily accomplished by just an ordinary Mangekyo Uchiha. Uchiha Obito was tempered by Uchiha Madara's conspiracy and careful one-on-one -on -one tutoring. His pupil skills, pupil power and ninjutsu talents were all realized to the extreme. However, he was only able to pretend to be Uchiha Madara. In fact, he was still very poor, reluctantly. The title of Shira in the ninja world cannot be held up so casually. And who is stronger and more talented, Ching Shui or Obito? This is something that anyone with a discerning eye will know. But the problem is, possession is not the emotion Uchiha Madara should have if he wants to blackmail him. Uchiha Madara's thought when he chose Uchiha Obito, could it be possession? This doesn't make sense. Several question marks appeared on Ching Shui's mind. After a long time, Ching Shui narrowed his eyes and thought of a very outrageous but seemingly reliable possibility. His expression was unusually broken. Could it be that when I beat Yashiro Uchiha, in order to gain more people's hearts, I tried to use the Uchiha clan's method to resolve the battle, but Madara Uchiha happened to see it, so he became interested in me. Quote, if Bai Zetsu exists, the premise of this possibility is established. Tobarama's mood was not right at that time. Looking at it this way, there is a high probability that my posture at that time was a bit like Uchiha Izuna. If you put it that way, this so-called possessive emotion can be reasonably explained, Uchiha Madara thought transform me into Koizumi Nana, right? The more Ching Shui thought about it, the more he felt that his guess might be close to the truth, and he frowned. This old man who came uninvited and took the initiative to apply for laning somewhat disrupted the rhythm of his plan. Although Uchiha Madara would not directly kill Konoha, Ching Shui had to consider the existence of this person every time before doing anything in the future. Regarding Uchiha Madara hiding in the valley, Ching Shui did not want to have direct contact with him until he was sure that he did not have a strong enough self-protection ability. Although the mastermind behind the ninja world is now extremely old according to his age, he does not even have the samsara eye that he has awakened after all the hard work. But the problem is, he is Uchiha Madara. Even in the last year before his death, Uchiha Madara was still able to subdue the three-tailed beast, seal the rampaging tailed beast in Nohara Rin's body and set up a spell, and also control a group of Karigakur Anbu and possibly even the third-generation Mizukage. It would be a joke if he were really regarded as an old man who had to have a tube inserted all the time and struggle to even move. And at this point in time, it was still very early before his death. So, how strong would Madara Uchiha be now? Who was able to single-handedly defeat tailed beasts not long before his death. Ching Shui didn't know and didn't want to try it rashly. After thinking for a long time, Ching Shui smiled, and his heavy heart became much relieved. If you look at it from another angle, although being noticed by Uchiha Madara is a very dangerous thing, risks and opportunities coexist. Uchiha Madara is eyeing Ching Shui, but this also means that Ching Shui is also eyeing Uchiha Madara. If he could make this man's mood fluctuate, the gold coins that the strongest old man could explode would be enough to greatly increase Ching Shui's strength. So, how can we make Uchiha Madara's mood swing? 
Ching Shui slowly narrowed his eyes. The answer to this question seemed obvious. Ching Shui planned to catch Uchiha Madara's hand in meal replacement and substitute literature. Isn't it Uchiha Izuna? I thought it was done. However, Ching Shui's understanding of Uchiha Izuna is actually not profound, and he only has a few words of understanding in his memory. Thinking of this, Ching Shui shouted to Kianju Tojian in his body, Tojian, don't sleep, I have something to ask you. Kid, stay up late at night and interfere with my sleep time. Kianju Tobarama slowly opened his eyes and yawned helplessly. Although Kianju Tojian was in the soul state, he still needed to rest. Ching Shui also thoughtfully transformed him into a comfortable big bed and quilt, allowing him to sleep with a sense of ritual. I have insomnia, tell me a story. Ching Shui spread his hands and said with a smile, Anyway, we are one body. If I can't sleep, you can't sleep well either. Qian Shu Feijian's expression froze, and he couldn't help but admire Ching Shui's cheek. Are the two of them that familiar? They were taunting each other a few days ago, but today you have to tell him sleep stories because you have insomnia. We are enemies. Kid, I'm still examining you, and I don't agree with your will of fire. Even though he thought so in his heart, Kianju Tojian said something else, what do you want to hear? Tell me the story of Uchiha Izuna and you. That day, I heard Uchiha Yashura's whisper, saying that I was like him, but it was clearly you who used him as a template to train me. Does he look a lot like you? I remember that in the legend, you two were old enemies. Ching Shui sat cross-legged at the end of the bed between Qian Shufei, ignoring the disgusted expression on his face, and said very familiarly. Come on, I really want to hear your story. It's nonsense. How can he and I look alike? There's no story to tell. Senju Tobarama waved his hand subconsciously, but was stunned for a moment, with a look of memories in his eyes. It seems, maybe, maybe, probably, there is a little similarity in style and temperament. As for the story, if you include the hundreds of times of killing each other, it seems to be a bit. Forget it, let's just think of it as telling you history. Uchiha Izuna, Uchiha Madara's younger brother, the actual leader and battle commander of the Uchiha clan during the Warring States period, was an extremely difficult enemy to deal with. He was once known as a perfect ninja with no flaws. Senju Tobarama did not belittle him, but commented pertinently. Of all the enemies I encountered, he can be said to be the most difficult. When he activated the Mangekio Sharingan, I fell behind for a time and was very embarrassed. And Uchiha Izuna's troubles are not limited to his strength. He has a wise mind and a cold personality, but he also has a gentle side towards his clansmen, which has gathered the hearts of the Uchiha clan. What did you do to win over Yashura Uchiha? It's his old trick. Ninjutsu talent, eye power, physical skills, sword skills, and mental abilities are all top-notch. Since I was nine years old, he and I have become rivals. Every time we met on the battlefield, we would kill each other. Until I developed the Flying Thunder God technique to deal with his Mangekio Sharingan, and I was seriously injured myself, he. I occasionally think that if he had survived at that time, I think he could see the situation clearly, then maybe Konoha's future would be better, and Uchiha Madara would not even rebel against the village. Kianju Tobarama talked about the past, with a bit of sadness in his tone. But when the conversation changed, Sensho Tobarama's attitude became tougher, but in the end, I am still stronger. Ching Shui's eyes seemed to be shining when he looked at Tobarama, like a loyal fan listening to his idol recounting his glorious deeds, Tobarama, tell me what it was like when you first played against him. That year, I was nine years old and he was nine years old. Kianju Tobarama said slowly, it was in a forest in the country of fire. What about the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth times? Ching Shui continued to ask after listening to it with unfinished content. Then who remembers it, kid? Let me pick up a few that you remember. Don't ask random questions. Kianju Feijian snorted and slowly told the story of the past. Ching Shui listened attentively, and he planned to give it a bold try based on his guess. If Uchiha Madara really felt that Ching Shui resembled Uchiha Izuna and was bound to him. So why not make it real? Seeing his brother seem to be resurrected, a certain old man shouldn't be stingy with his emotions, right? If you want to be similar to the real Uchiha Izuna, you must start from the story of Senju Tobarama. In the ninja world, 
the person who knows a person best is always his enemy. In tonight's Tobarama storytelling meeting, with Ching Shui Lian's flattery mixed with sincere flattery and praise, Senju Tobarama told many stories about him and Uchiha Izuna. From hairstyles, clothing, subconscious movements, to offensive and defensive habits, familiar ninjutsu, and the use of sharingan. It even includes what you like to eat. This is because Senju Tobarama also thought about poisoning Uchiha Izuna. Anyway, kid, although I don't like an Uchiha kid imitating my fighting style, your water bending talent, seriously speaking, is not inferior to mine. So, don't waste your talent to learn Uchiha Izuna, my ninjutsu will be enough for you to use for a lifetime. After Senju Tobarama finished speaking, he concluded. At present, Ching Shui's impression in Kianju Fajian's mind is still very complicated, and cannot be described simply as good or bad. But when he saw Ching Shui's tendency to develop in the direction of Uchiha Izuna, Senju Tobarama took advantage of Ching Shui's opportunity to tell stories and vigorously promoted a wave of his strengths. From Senju Tobarama's point of view, no matter what Ching Shui's true position and thoughts are, it would be better for Konoha to have one more Uchiha Tobarama than one more Uchiha Izuna. And Ching Shui, who had been listening to the stories all night, finally discovered a problem. Senju Tobarama and Uchiha Izuna are so similar. The same cold, wise and warm heart, he is also a brother control, good at swordsmanship, teleportation and various ninjutsu. Putting aside the Mangekyo Sharingan and the Flying Thunder God Jutsu, as well as water style and fire style, these two people are almost carved out of the same mold, only they look different. If two people exchange souls and origins, there won't be even the slightest sense of incompatibility, and the characters will be the same. At this moment, Ching Shui also figured out something. Ching Shui fought against Yashura Uchiha in the form of Senju Tobarama. When his fighting method changed from water escape to fire escape combined with swordsmanship. Isn't that just like Uchiha Izuna? If Uchiha Madara sees this, the old man really wants to get the upper hand, which is understandable. I understand, Tobarama, I just have insomnia and want to hear your past stories and get to know you better. Ching Shui nodded and rolled his eyes. Although I'm a little sleepy, I still want to ask one last question. Say it, who is better between you and Uchiha Madara? Have you ever been beaten by him back then? Coming from the line target Senju Tobarama, you obtain the sealing technique 5 elements seal. Evil Uchiha brat, I will kill you right now. Ching Shui laughed. Good night, Tobarama. And at the moment when his figure disappeared, Ching Shui vaguely saw that the corners of Qian Shu Feijian's mouth seemed to be raised. Hash. And when Ching Shui and Tobarama were having a late night tea conversation. White Zetsu, who was sent by the Uchiha clan by Madara Uchiha to realize Obito's dream, encountered an accident at this time. A thick black substance enveloped the white Zetsu, swallowing up the yin yang chakra that represented Uchiha Madara's will. The third son of Princess Otsutsuki Kegaya aimed at this opportunity. Before the combination of White Zetsu and Uchiha Madara's will replaced Uchiha Rin, it took action to replace Uchiha Madara's will with itself. Black Zetsu lurked in the White Zetsu's body and whispered excitedly, I thought that I would have to wait until that crazy stupid spokesperson plan started before I would have a chance to get close to this generation of Indra who has opened his eyes. Very good, very good. Both Uchiha Chingsui and Uchiha Obito are good helpers in resurrecting my mother. However, Uchiha Madara's plan is really evil. He actually let Bai Zetsu and Uchiha Obito fall in love. What a poor boy, being targeted by this old guy. Although Black Zetsu said he felt sorry for Uchiha Obito, his smile was a little weird. The first task I completed for Indra was to fall in love with the Uchiha brat. It's really interesting. Let me, hey Ju, let him experience the beauty of love. Then, this love that is too beautiful to be true will be destroyed with the most violence at the moment when he is most yearning for it. The power born in this way will definitely be wonderful. Heiju slowly raised his head and solemnly stared at the moon in the night sky. For its mother, Black Ju is willing to give everything. This night, Ching Shui was thinking about how to disguise himself as Uchiha Izuna, and chatted happily with Tobarama. Black Zetsu was thinking about how to fall in love with Obito, so he quietly killed the original owner and became the unique Uchiha Rin. Madara Uchiha was thinking about his younger brother, his mind filled with memories. Ninja School
Ching Shui glanced at the test paper in front of him, glanced at the questions briefly, then smiled confidently and started to write casually. This is the last subject in the final assessment, the introduction and review of the Will of Fire. Tobarama, how are you? Are you interested in trying how many points you can score? Ching Shui spread out the test paper, smiled and said to Senju Tobarama. The first generation ninja school principal who summed up the Will of Fire couldn't get full marks, right? That really makes people laugh. Kid, stop looking down on people. The monkey's will of fire is exactly what I taught you through my own practice. Will this kind of test question stump me? Kianju Tobarama sneered. If you want me to help you cheat, just say so. If you want to use your understanding of the will of fire to attract the monkey's attention to you, then do it on your own. I won't help you. Ching Shui raised his eyebrows. How could this old man still feel so good about himself? Please briefly describe the deeds of the third Hokage and talk about your views on him. Please talk about the difference between ninjas and civilian ninjas based on your origin, and tell us about your future ninja career plans. Ninjas must abide by the rules and complete tasks as their first priority. Please talk about the importance of discipline to ninjas. Please describe your understanding of the will of fire. The four comprehensive topics cover the third Hokage, the will of fire, and the current most sensitive issues between the ninja clan and civilians in Konoha, as well as the discipline that ninja school students lack most compared to mature ninjas. Ching Shui narrowed his eyes. Judging from the method and intention of setting the questions, this set of test papers is very valuable. It is even somewhat practical. It is not like those mediocre questions asked by Chunin in the ninja school. Today's questions in Ching Shui's class, each one seems ordinary, but they are all aimed at the current hot issues in Konoha. In the past will of fire exams, there would be such a bad proposition as, who is the strongest Hokage and why? It seemed to be consolidating the popularity of the third Hokage's rule, but in fact it was to bring trouble to him. Commoner students may not know about big figures like Uchiha Madara, Senju Hashirama, and Senju Tobarama from 30 to 40 years ago, but students from the ninja clan still don't know about these peak ninjas who once destroyed the world. Ninja clan members always have old men in their homes, the kind who can tell stories. Senju Tobarama seemed to be in sync with Ching Shui's movements. He narrowed his eyes and looked a little serious. He thought in his heart, what happened to the monkey? Let the students of the ninja school answer such a deep question. If the elder brother comes to answer it, I'm afraid you can't even pass. When Senju Tobarama was still questioning the difficulty of this test paper, Ching Shui thought for a moment, then the pen tip began to make, swish, and, swish, sounds, and he began to answer smoothly. Senju Tobarama looked at this scene with a sneer. If the Uchiha clan could really answer the will of fire, they would not be Uchiha. Even if Ching Shui looks a bit like him now, it's just superficial aspects like water escape and sword skills. Even if Ching Shui's current performance really has the flavor of the will to ignite fire, Senju Tobarama does not think that Uchiha, who has always been a practical genius but weak in consciousness theory, can deal with this level of questions. But as Ching Shui answered, Qian Shu Feijian's smile gradually faded. His expression changed from mocking to serious, and he looked at the answers on the test paper very seriously. No, you are really good at answering questions, right? Are you the first Hokage or am I the first Hokage? Oh, Ching Shui is the descendant of Jing, so that's okay. You are truly worthy of being the descendant of my apprentice, good. Quote dot dot dot, wherever the leaves are flying, the fire will continue to grow. Where there are flying leaves, the fire of hope will burn. The light of the fire will illuminate the village and new leaves will grow. Ching Shui conveniently used Sarutobi Hiruzen's heartfelt speech before his death as a summary of the last big question, which made Senju Tobarama's eyes light up and he hesitated in his heart. This feeling is too full. Is Ching Shui kid serious? Is he really a genius born to study the will of fire? Luahong is not a heartless thing. It turns into spring mud to protect flowers. Ching Shui checked the test paper and said to Kianju Tojian with emotion. It's autumn, and the flying fallen leaves turn into nutrients in the earth, nurturing the buds of the coming spring. The will of fire really implies the principle of the fate of heaven and earth, which makes people have endless aftertaste. Qian Shu Fei Jian carefully recalled the poems that Ching Shui had copied impromptuly, and the more he thought about them, the more interesting they became. 
He originally wanted to say a few words to Ching Shui, but at this time he was speechless. That kid, he's quite talented. Especially when Qianju Tobarama saw Ching Shui's answer to the question, discipline, his expression became even more complicated. Quote dot dot dot. Discipline is extremely necessary for ninjas. Ninjas need to suppress unnecessary emotions. The village formulates strict and effective rules and abides by them from top to bottom, so that most unnecessary fights can be avoided. These words were almost exactly the same as his answer when he and Hashirama were discussing how to achieve peace when he was a child. Except for Senju Hashirama and his brothers who were present at the time, Senju Tobarama never talked about this conversation with anyone, even his disciples. But today, 30 years after his death, Senju Tobarama saw a kid from the Uchiha clan speaking words that were almost the same as when he was a child. The name of this Uchiha is Uchiha Chingsui. This wonderful feeling enveloped Qian Shu Feijian's heart and reminded him of Ching Shui's water escape and sword skills that were very similar to his. Even in terms of personality, he could make up the similarities in his own mind at this moment. This was a feeling that none of the disciples Senju Tobarama had ever given him. This feeling is called resembling oneself, which can be regarded as the highest evaluation in the master-disciple inheritance, and it is also the standard for becoming a master. If it was in the era of feudal emperors, this could be regarded as the standard for succession. Coming from the laning target Senju Tobarama, you get a special talent, the power of Senju Tobarama. Power of Senju Tobarama. You can borrow the power of Senju Tobarama's soul in your body, and the strength depends on the subjective will of the target. Ching Shui looked at this weird talent and blinked. What kind of strange ability is this? The ancestor has it, right? No, I am from the Uchiha clan. System, you can at least make me an Indra. No matter how bad it is, Uchiha Madara will do. Alas, forget it, just make do with it, it's better than nothing. Qian Shu Tobijian, who didn't know that Ching Shui disliked him, pretended to be reluctant and coughed pretentiously, Kid, your answer is pretty good. However, there is still a big gap compared with me. Let's do this, you kid, think of a way and let me answer the same question. I will show you the perfect answer sheet, which can be regarded as teaching you. Hey, isn't this the second Hokage? I haven't seen you for a few days, why do you still want to answer children's questions? Ching Shui looked at Kianju Tobarama with a smile, and shook his head. Let's forget it, Tobarama, you said that if the time comes, your score can't be better than mine, wouldn't you look ugly? It would be so embarrassing if you can't show it on your face. Maybe you will be blamed by your beloved disciple at that time. If I indulge your willful thoughts, will I be sowing discord? You have been dead for so many years, and the ninja school you founded did not have a written examination. I am afraid you haven't even summarized the template. Hey, forget it, it's really unnecessary. If it doesn't work, just criticize me. In Ching Shui's words, he focused on being objective and impartial. He mentioned the different backgrounds of the warring states and the war era very thoughtfully, and gave Qianju Tojian a level of understanding in a very reasonable manner. But his tone was very fiery, and Qian Shu Fei's temples jumped. The wonderful feeling he had just had for Ching Shui was temporarily forgotten by him at this moment, and he gritted his teeth angrily. Stop looking down on people. I am the second generation Hokage. If you can't even take the will of fire test compared to an Uchiha brat like you, that would be the most ridiculous thing in the world. Templates have never been the key to will of fire. The core and logic are the most important. Don't say it's useless. If you can't do it for me to answer the exam, just tell me if you can't do it. Hey, why are you still using the method of stimulating generals? This is because my answer is not bad. I am so happy that I want to try it myself. Tobarama, I'm reminding you, times have changed, and you don't have the will of fire or the mindset to take exams. Ching Shui shook his head in a funny way, and did not judge Qianju Tobijian's agitation and wanting his apprentice to judge him. He said as if an adult was comforting a child. Okay, okay, I really can't do anything to you, so I just promise you. What's your strange tone? Do you think I'm making trouble unreasonably? Ching Shui shrugged. I didn't say that. I'm quite old, but I'm so sensitive. It's really. Quote dot 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 quote. Senju Tobarama's face darkened. Why did he feel so strange when he heard what this kid said? The evil Ching Shui kid. 
Cheng Shui slowly looked around the students in the examination room. Many very young students were fast asleep. There was no way, this paper written by Sarutobi Hirazan to identify Cheng Shui's level was too difficult for them. Rather than scribbling on such a sensitive test question, it would be better to hand in a blank paper, which would be considered safe. From a certain perspective, this is the wisdom of a scumbag. Cheng Shui thought as he saw Obito Uchiha writing furiously at the side. Even Cheng Shui was very interested in seeing what kind of shocking answer Uchiha Obito would come up with after being taken away by Uchiha Satsuna. That would definitely be fun. Cheng Shui stood up and when passing by a sleeping classmate, he bent down and patted his shoulder, classmate, did you drop this pen? The classmate who was sleeping in a daze woke up, teacher, I. I really don't know how to do it. It's not that I don't want to answer. The whole examination room laughed, but there was a lot of resentment in the laughter. Which teacher asked this question? It is too difficult. Isn't this difficult for people? Even Yumino Akaku on the podium laughed helplessly, thinking to himself. Children, the teacher does not blame you. This is the third generation of adults to test Ching Shuijun. For the future of the village, please feel aggrieved for the time being. I will give you a few more lessons to compensate for your. Ching Shui Jun, this is not my pen, thank you. The classmate saw Ching Shui's kind smile and scratched his head in embarrassment, with a look of reverence on his face. Ching Shui, who defeated the double Magatama Obito in the ninja school examination and was also kind to others, has become a legend in the ninja school. His words of encouragement to Metkai inspired many unconfident ninja school students to secretly work hard. Anata kun, try to answer. You can do it. Don't be afraid of getting it wrong. This is a very precious opportunity to learn the will of fire. This set of test questions is very good. It would be a pity if you miss it. Ching Shui took out an expensive pen with the Uchiha clan emblem on it, handed it to his hand, and gave him an encouraging smile. Anata Kojura took over the pen tremblingly. He did not expect that Ching Shui could actually remember his name. And the moment they looked at each other, Ching Shui's Magatama under the water escape contact lenses slowly rotated, just like the fate of Konoha. Ching Shui Jun, please rest assured, I will do my best. Okay, Ching Shui nodded with him, walked to the stage and handed the test paper to Yumino Akaku. Teacher Yumino, I'll hand in the paper first. Yumino Akaku happily handed over Ching Shui's test paper. Seeing many students who gave up answering hesitantly pick up their pens, a sense of pride welled up in his heart. Who said being a teacher has no future? Look, the good children of the Uchiha clan were taught by me. They are students in my class. I, Yumino Akaku, have the teaching posture of the second Hokage. In this classroom, the eyes looking at Ching Shui's back were complicated. Uchiha Obito pursed his lips thinking about the idea of family supremacy that Uchiha Satsuna had instilled in him. He snorted coldly, combined what he thought was the will of fire with Uchiha, and wrote on the test paper even faster, Stand up. Sarutobi Asuma's expression was complicated. If he hadn't been in the classroom, he would have taken out the cigarette he stole from his trouser pocket and lit one. Nohara Lin chuckled, thinking about visiting Ching Shui's house on the weekend, and hummed a nice tune in a low voice. Metkai burst into tears and sighed from the bottom of his heart, this is youth. It wasn't until Yumino Akaku signaled him to be quiet that Metkai turned his attention to the test paper and quickly wrote something about youth on all the questions. Coming from the laning target Metkai, you get the Taijutsu Konoha Great Cyclone. It's so emotional, Kai. Ching Shui listened helplessly to the electronic sound, sat down on a chair outside the classroom, and waited for Shisui's exam to finish. Come on. Respected second Hokage Senju Toborama-sama, just tell me what you want to answer. I have used illusion to control Anata-kun, and he will write your answer on the test paper. Write well and don't let people fail when the time comes. Kianju Fajian snorted coldly, but instead of arguing with Ching Shui, he closed his eyes and started thinking. After a long time, he slowly said the answer to the first question, looking very serious. No one would have thought that in an ordinary final exam, one of the papers would be answered by the late second Hokage. That night, Hokage building, Sarutobi Hirazan looked at the test papers in Qingshui examination hall on the table, lit his pipe in anticipation, and started smoking happily. 
Let me see how the children in the village responded. Chapter 31. Sarutobi here is and neatly opened the bag of sealed test papers. I started reading from the first paper, smoking and holding a red pen in hand to carefully correct the students. This set of test papers was carefully prepared by Sarutobi Hirazan. Although the difficulty is slightly higher, in contrast, the top-notch propositions can better reveal the answerer's level and inner truth from the answers. As the third-generation Hokage of Konoha and the honorary principal of the ninja school, Sarutobi Hirazan actually rarely participates in ninja school affairs except for speaking at the beginning and graduation of school. Therefore, Sarutobi Hirazan was not just trying to test Ching Shui this time, but also wanted to check the will of fire of the entire ninja school students. Nohara Rin. This was the first paper Sarutobi Hirazan read. The beautiful handwriting on it first won the Hokage's favor. Not bad. Although the thinking is still a bit naive, the subject still has the will of fire. This is a child from a commoner family. It is already rare to have such an insight. Oh. There is also something about Uchiha Qingshui, tisk tisk. In the last big question described the understanding of the will of fire, Nohara Lin used Qingshui's selfless preparation to share ninjutsu and palm senjutsu with her as an example, thinking that this was a realistic manifestation of the will of fire. Sarutobi Hirazan nodded slightly, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Nohara Rin was right, she took the initiative to share ninjutsu with civilian ninjas. Isn't this considered the will of fire? What's even more interesting is that Hirazan Sarutobi keenly captured a hint of emotion in Nohara Rin's words. Young man, this is where the bond is born. Very good, very good. Sarutobi Hirazan nodded with satisfaction and gave Nohara Rin's test paper a high score of 87. This good start made the third Hokage very happy, and he was looking forward to the performance of other students. Metke. Sarutobi Hirazan looked at the test paper with a smile, his expression gradually changed, and he sighed helplessly. The whole test paper is full of youth, youth, youth. Discipline is youth, the will of fire is youth, both the ninja clan and civilian ninjas are youth. Even for him, the third Hokage, Metkai listed various examples in detail to prove that he is a youthful Hokage. After thinking for a moment, Sarutobi Hirazan still laughed, youth. Funny little guy, I am indeed not old yet. Although this child's theoretical knowledge is somewhat lacking, the positivity in his heart and his love for Konoha can be seen through the test paper. Good boy, come on. Sarutobi Hirazan gave Metkai 83 points and wrote a special comment for him, I look forward to the day when your youth will bloom. In Metkai's test paper, it was mentioned that Ching Shui healed his wounds. He believes that Ching Shui is a model of the combination of youth and the will of fire, and is the goal of his study and pursuit. So far, these two test papers that satisfied Sarutobi Hirazan both had Ching Shui's name on them. This made him look forward to Ching Shui's answer even more. Obito Uchiha. Sarutobi Hirazan's expression became serious. Anbu had once made a report to him about this seven-year-old Uchiha genius who had opened the double Magatama. Then, Anbu gave information that Uchiha Obito was suspected of having contact with Setsuna Uchiha, the Hawk Clan elder of the Uchiha Clan who had tried to launch an armed rebellion. The genius and Hawk of the Uchiha Clan. Sarutobi Hirazan took a deep breath of his cigarette. The combination of these two words would make him very troublesome even if he was the Hokage of Konoha. This was considered one of the most difficult problems in Konoha at the moment. After seeing Uchiha Obito's answer, Sarutobi Hirazan's brows furrowed, and in the end it was like they were twisted into knots. Among Uchiha Obito's answers, the main part is about the Uchiha clan. With strength as the core argument, it elaborates on the superiority of the Uchiha clan's dominant position in Konoha after the disbandment of the Senju clan, and explains everything that Uchiha Setsuna has recently instilled in him. In the end, he reluctantly used the will of fire to combine with the Uchiha clan and talked nonsense, but Sarutobi Hirazan had no patience to watch any more. Shinosuke, keep an eye on this Uchiha Obito, and let the Anbu shift the focus of monitoring the Uchiha clan to him and Uchiha Satsuna as appropriate. Sarutobi Shinosuke, who was sitting opposite and working with him, nodded, I understand, father. As the eldest son of the third Hokage, his current position is the Anbu captain, in charge of all Anbu affairs. Sarutobi Shinosuke watched his father's expression change from pleasant to extremely ugly. 
he curiously took Uchiha Obito's test paper. After a moment, his eyes narrowed. This kid has a big problem. According to my information, the Uchiha Hawks have had contact with him. It seems that he has been deeply affected. Does he need further treatment, father? Sarutobi Hirazan waved his hand. Words can reveal people's hearts, just strengthen surveillance. After calming down, Sandai silently rummaged through Ching Shui's test papers. He originally wanted to read the test papers of all the students in the examination room one by one. This was fair to him as Hokage, but Uchiha Obito's paper gave him a small Kenji shock, so much so that Sarutobi Hirazan no longer wanted to wait. If Ching Shui is similar to Uchiha Obito, impossible, Ching Shui can't be like this. He is a descendant of Jing, and he is so kind. Sarutobi Hirazan muttered to himself, quickly found Ching Shui's test paper, and read it very seriously. Sarutobi Shinosuke's ears twitched. Not only his Hokage father, but also his younger brother Sarutobi Asuma, all mentioned this name accidentally recently. How could a brat from the Uchiha clan have such influence in the Sarutobi family? Seeing the change in his father's expression, Sarutobi Shinosuke was even more curious from the bottom of his heart. When he was reading Obito Uchiha's test paper just now, Hirazan Sarutobi's serious expression disappeared, with a heartfelt smile on his face, and he seemed to be reading Ching Shui's answers from the beginning again. Quote dot dot dot, wherever the leaves are flying, the fire will continue to grow, and new leaves will be born. Fallen flowers are not heartless things, into Chunny more quadrangle. Sarutobi Hirazan repeated these two sentences in a low voice, his eyes lit up, and he tapped the table gently. This was written in his heart. Especially in the first sentence, Sarutobi Hirazan seemed to have a tragic scene before his eyes, a Hokage, sacrificing himself to protect the promising future generations of the village. Teacher, I miss you. Sarutobi Hirazan stared at the Senju Tobarama photo frame not far away and whispered, Please rest assured, I will not hesitate to sacrifice myself for the sake of the village. He once again recalled the scene where Kianju Tojian cut off the queen for the six of them. This was a regret that he would never forget in his life. Sarutobi Shinosuke looked at Sarutobi Hirazan who was lost in memories in shock. A test paper written by a mere brat from the ninja school could actually make the Hokage of Konoha village so moved. It was written by a brat from the Uchiha clan. This is so surprising. Sarutobi Shinosuke was extremely curious, and Sarutobi Hirazan first changed from seriousness to joy, and then from joy to sadness. What exactly did you see? Father, father. After Sarutobi Shinosuke whispered several times, Sarutobi Hirazan woke up from his memories. He slowly moved his eyes away from the photo frame of the second Hokage, first glared dissatisfied at the anxious eldest son, and then handed Ching Shui's paper to Shinosuke's hand with great care. Come and see if you, the minister of Anbu, can write the will of fire with such literary talent. Sarutobi Shinosuke took Ching Shui's test paper noncommittally, glanced at it first, his pupils trembled, and he read in seriously. There's nothing we can do about it. The answer Ching Shui used was a combination of Sarutobi Hirazan's heartfelt emotions when he was dying and Senju Tobarama's words when he was young. Combining the essence of the second generation and the third generation, it is a bit underestimated to say that the will of fire should be called, the will of fire. Ching Shui is worthy of being the descendant of Uncle Jing. Father, I think this test paper should be vigorously promoted, and the sentences in it can also be refined as propaganda words for the will of fire. This will help the ninjas in the village deepen their understanding of the will of fire. Quote, Taking a big picture, each village has different spiritual pillars, such as our will of fire and the will of stone in Iwagakur. A catchy and concise summary is very helpful in spreading the will of fire. Quote, As the head of Anbu, Sarutobi Shinosuke was keenly aware of this. Do it, Shinosuke, this is a very meaningful thing. Sarutobi Hirazan nodded in agreement and took back Ching Shui's test paper. At first he wrote a perfect score on it without hesitation, but then he hesitated. He wanted to give Ching Shui a serious criticism. After a while, he picked up the pen and wrote, I am very happy that the will of fire has shined brightly in Ching Shui's hands. May the love of Konoha take root in your heart and bloom with gorgeous flowers. But Sarutobi Hirazan still shook his head dissatisfied. In a few days, I will personally talk to Ching Shui face to face. This is a good boy. 
The hawks of the Uchiha clan are now very powerful. Uchiha Obito has been contaminated by them. Ching Shui, as a descendant of Kagami and an outstanding inheritor of the Will of Fire, must work hard to protect it. I have a hunch that maybe Ching Shui will be the key to solving the Uchiha clan's problems in the future. Serutobi Shinasuke nodded silently, indicating that he understood. Although words can deceive people, if the will of fire can be written to a level similar to that of Hokage's words, the possibility of deception is too low. It's better to read the children's test papers. I can't be too biased towards Ching Shui. I have to be fair. The third Hokage read the test papers with a smile, giving low or high scores, but none failed, but no additional comments were given. Intel, there are still two test papers left. It was a really hard night, but it was still wonderful, witnessing the growth of the children. Serutobi Hirazan thumped his waist, cheered up and picked up one, Anata Kojura, look at this child from a commoner family. Immediately, Serutobi Hirazan's expression became strange. Serutobi Shinasuke glanced at his father in surprise. This was the first time that Serutobi Hirazan's expression changed so much after Obito and Chingsui's test papers. Quote dot 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 quote. Serutobi Hirazan narrowed his eyes, his expression becoming more and more strange. A little recognition, displeasure, and even a hint of sullenness. Serutobi Shinasuke became more and more curious. Even Uchiha Obito's test paper only made his father serious. Who is this Anata Kojura who can sort out the Hokage's emotional fan chart? I understand a little bit, but I am disrespectful and arrogant. A brat actually taught me how to be a Hokage. He also questioned the current village policy and ordered me to rectify it. Whose tutor is this child? Serutobi Hirazan suppressed the anger in his heart and picked up the actual combat report card sent by the training office of the ninja school. If Anata Kojura is a genius, then maybe some tolerance can be given. But after seeing Kojura Anata's very poor actual combat results, Serutobi Hirazan let out a heavy breath. A waste who only knows how to talk on paper. At a young age, he did not study basic knowledge and basic ninjutsu seriously, but he would comment on the village's political affairs in a condescending tone, and even hinted at how he could be a truly good Hokage. If the second Hokage told him this in person, Serutobi Hirazan will definitely humbly express that there are still many shortcomings in what he has done. Thanks to his old mentor for his guidance, I will work hard. What you said is correct. But Senju Tobarama, who had never experienced a written examination in his life, did not know how to change from the mentality of a second-generation Hokage and a master to an ordinary candidate. Even if he restrained himself somewhat, the preaching and guidance that could not be concealed in his writing had already made Serutobi Hirazan red-hot. Critical words can easily have completely different effects due to the different identities of the two people speaking. Making nonsense, playing the piano randomly. Serutobi Hirazan slammed the table picked up the red pen, and wrote stern criticism on Anata Kojura's test paper. So ambitious and impetuous, the will of fire is not something you can just talk about on paper. Learning to be a ninja first is your top priority. It is very fair to give a zero score. Serutobi Shinasuke finished reading Anata Kojura's test paper and shrugged. All I can say is that this kid is a bit unlucky. If an ordinary teacher were to grade the papers, he would be beaten in the end, and then the Hokage himself would grade the papers. There would be no way. The last test paper, combined with Anata Kojura's critical answers, completely angered Serutobi Hirazan, who was actually pretty good at raising chi. Answered by Serutobi Asuma. In the test paper of the rebellious boy Asuma, the famous second generation cage was full of firepower. He bluntly spoke out about the will of fire and his father's hypocrisy. He believed that the current third-generation Hokage did not understand the will of fire at all and only knew how to take advantage of Yunli. Words in the mist come to deceive people. With his straightforward words and sharp language, there is no one else in Konoha except this one. Not even Danzo Shimura dared to criticize him like this. Okay, okay, good boy, this is how you treat the test papers I gave you, isn't it? Serutobi Hirazan yanked open his desk drawer, looking for something inside. Serutobi Shinasuke watched blankly as his father picked up the belt, rushed out of the Hokage building in a hurry, walked to the table, took a look at the test paper, and covered his face. The family is unlucky. But immediately, Serutobi Shinasuke laughed again. 
Boy, do you like to steal my cigarettes? Sarutobi Shinosuke leisurely picked up the pipe his father left on the table and started smoking happily. Ching Shui and Shisui led the curious Nohara Lin into the Uchiha clan. As Nohara Rin aspires to become an excellent medical ninja, she cannot resist the temptation to learn the art of palm sensibility. At the same time, Nohara Lin also had the desire to become friends with Ching Shui. Who wouldn't want a friend who is handsome, young and wealthy, generous, gentle and powerful? As expected of the Uchiha clan, Nohara Rin was like a tourist. The Uchiha clan's unique architecture and wealthy family's heritage attracted her attention, and she felt very strange wherever she saw it. It's just that the ancient Uchiha clan land, which is comparable to a scenic spot, is also a place that few people set foot in Konoha. This has a lot to do with the fact that the Uchiha clan is in charge of the Konoha security department and their current reputation in Konoha. And this also leads to the fact that even though the Uchiha clan is the core ninja clan that founded the village of Konoha, but as of today, there are still many Konoha ninjas who have an indescribable fear of Uchiha and a considerable degree of understanding. To a certain extent, the positions of the Uchiha clan and Shimura Danzo in Konoha are quite similar. They all seem to have a high status, but it doesn't match the good reputation required to be a Hokage or to reach a higher position. They have all become sword handlers, with almost no hope of becoming a sword wielder. If you like, come over if nothing happens. Usually it's just me and Shisui at home. Ching Shui rubbed Zishui's head and said with emotion, Although my house is quite big, it still seems very empty if there are only two people. Are you right, Zishui? That's not right. Brother and I are just fine at home. Zishui puffed up his face, like a dumpling. This little guy openly expressed his strong dissatisfaction with Nohara Rin for disturbing his and his brother's perfect weekend alone time. Ouch, brother, you hit me. You have to learn to make friends, je suis. My brother can't stay with you forever. Ching Shui said with a smile. Nohara Lin covered her mouth and chuckled. As the only daughter in the family, she was very interested in the interaction between Ching Shui and Shi Shui, the relationship between you brothers is really good. Zi Shui snorted, not paying attention to Ching Shui's statement. Why can't my brother stay with him for the rest of his life? It will take a lifetime. The three people were noisy, but from a distance, they seemed like a harmonious family. At this time, the eyes of three parties were focused on Ching Shui and others from different directions. On the one hand, there are Uchiha Yashura, Uchiha Inari, Tetsuka and others. These elite three Magatama Junin of Uchiha have the responsibility of protecting the clan. When they see Nohara Lin, a foreigner, they naturally have to take a closer look. Brother Yashura, this difficult brat actually brought in a foreigner. Let's use this as an excuse to teach him a lesson. It can also be considered as venting your anger. Uchiha Iron Fire, as a die-hard friend of Uchiha Yashura, is also one of the hawks of the Uchiha clan. After being taught a gentle lesson by Ching Shui, Uchiha Yashura, who went back to resume his life, suppressed the shame in his heart and vaguely said that he had defeated Ching Shui, but he still suffered some losses. In short, the task was completed satisfactorily. But in the conversation between friends, Yashura Uchiha could not help but admire Ching Shui a lot. So much so that his friends Anahuo and Tiehuo mistakenly believed that Ching Shui had brought a lot of trouble to Yashura Uchiha, but he just didn't say it out of face. After Ching Shui became famous for his water escape as an Uchiha, all the hawkish Uchiha were dissatisfied with him, and Uchiha Satsuna was even more aggressive. Uchiha Tiehuo was eager to give it a try, and he looked at Uchiha Inahuo, and the two of them laughed in understanding. But when Uchiha Yashura saw the expressions of these two people, his expression suddenly changed, and his hands quickly and powerfully clasped the shoulders of Tehuo and Anahu. Iron fire, rice fire, can I trust you? Uchiha Yashura said in a deep voice with an extremely serious expression. What are you talking about? Dao Huo's and I's parents both died young and our families are poor. If you hadn't helped us, we would have had a hard time even becoming a ninja. Over the years, Dao Huo and I have long regarded you as our biological brother. Uchiha Tiehuo looked at the serious Uchiha Yashura in confusion, but still answered seriously. Uchiha Inari nodded. That's it, Yashura ni. Okay, then just listen to me and never let Ching Shui feel the family's hostility towards him. Uchiha Yashura's palms on their shoulders were still tight, 
exactly why, I will tell you when you come to my house in the evening. Now, you just need to remember one thing. If you make Ching Shui dissatisfied with the family, both of you and I will become the unpardonable sinners of the Uchiha clan. At the end of the sentence, Uchiha Yashura even had a hint of murderous intent in his eyes. Uchiha Tiehuo and Anahuo were both shocked, but looking at the Magatama spinning in Uchiha Yashura's eyes, they swallowed and nodded hurriedly. On the other hand, Uchiha Obito, who was training with Uchiha Satsuna, looked blankly at the back of Nohara Rin in the distance with his head covered with sweat. Lin, Uchiha Obito called out unconsciously, looking closely at Nohara Rin's back, but before she could turn around, he continued to walk forward with Ching Shui and Shisui, talking and laughing. Uchiha Satsuna looked at this scene with a smile, seeming to be talking to himself or talking to Obito. The ninja world is a world like this. Ninjas without strength can only watch what they want taken away. The position of Hokage is like this, the woman you like is like this, everything is like this. If you had defeated Uchiha Chingsui that day, would it be you who would leave with her now? So, practice hard, Obito. When your shoulders can carry the family, you will naturally get what you want. Uchiha Obito's eyes were stern, and he nodded silently. Setsuna clan elder, continue to practice, I will take back everything that belongs to me. But Uchiha Obito forgot. The young Nohara Rin is just an enthusiastic ordinary girl. She helps Uchiha Obito because she wants to encourage every classmate in her ability. Her feelings for Uchiha Obito were far from love. But Uchiha Obito, who was encouraged by her, was like a beggar who had been given alms. Instead, he was not satisfied with the coins in his hand and wanted to monopolize the kind wallet, forgetting that he was not qualified to do so. The last person to pay attention to Ching Shui and others was Hei Ju. In other words, it should be called, Uchiha Lin. Interesting, this Ching Shui brat, are you the same alien as Uchiha Cage, or a deeply hidden monster? Uchiha Obito is indeed a good candidate to be used as a chess piece, but Uchiha Satsuna is a loser. How could such poor words bring out the real darkness in his heart? You must first let him feel the beauty of the world, and then tear it apart in the most brutal way before he can feel despair. Uchiha Lin said cruel words, but smiled sweetly. From the perspective of an onlooker, her smile is more beautiful than Nohara Rin's. In a corner no one knows about. The gears regarding the destiny of the ninja world have been turning quietly and unstoppably. Right, this is it, Lin, be gentler, very good, the technique is very delicate. Ching Shui gently pointed at Nohara Lin, who was learning the palm imaging technique. As an A-level ninjutsu, the difficulty of learning this technique was still too high for ninja school students. After all, even most junin cannot master this technique. But Nohara Lin was not defeated by this difficulty. Although she was so nervous that sweat broke out from her nose, she still tried her best to follow Ching Shui's instructions. After a long time, Nohara Lin, who was a little exhausted, sighed, I still can't do it, Ching Shui Kun. Shisui on the side nodded slowly and encouraged, Lin, don't be discouraged. Geniuses like my brother are too rare. You have already done a great job. Ching Shui waved his hand indifferently. I am not a genius, I am just a few years older than you. At Lin's age, I can't even master the three-body technique. Shisui and Nohara Lin curled their lips in sync. At Ching Shui's level, no one would believe that he was really a loser. The palm immortal technique generally has only two difficulties, synthesizing medical chakra and controlling chakra intensity. A little green fluorescence lit up on Ching Shui's fingers, and he explained. The so-called medical chakra is to break down chakra into small and gentle fragments to heal injuries. Non-attribute chakra is a more moderate choice, and yang escape chakra, which has a stimulating effect on the body, is the best choice. So, the so-called medical ninjutsu that has been cultivated to a higher level can be regarded as the same as the secret technique of the Akamichi clan. It is a special use of yang attribute chakra. As for the fine control of chakra, it is a matter of water grinding. Lin, you are already very talented in this area. If you practice day after day, you will eventually achieve something. Nohara Lin nodded nervously. I will try my best, Ching Shui Kun. Nohara Lin learned all these knowledge that she could not hear in the ninja school, and even the details that the instructor could not tell her after graduation. She cherished and appreciated this opportunity very much in Ching Shui. 
Cheng Shui looked at Nohara Lin and an interesting thought came to his mind. If the copying and hypnosis abilities of the Sharingan are combined, can it produce an effect similar to that of ghost fighting, allowing the hypnotized ninja to release ninjutsu that they would not normally know through the operation of others, thereby generating muscle memory? This principle is a bit like teaching a child to ride a bicycle. At first, they still need to be supported to ride, but when the adults quietly let go, the children can still ride well. With the help of psychological suggestion and muscle memory, they have mastered this skill. If Ching Shui's conjecture succeeds, well, to learn advanced ninjutsu quickly, just find the famous teacher Ching Shui. No need for 998, as long as you have the will of fire belonging to Ching Shui in your heart. Tobarama, do you believe that I can teach Nohara Rin the palm immortal technique today? Ching Shui and Lama Fei applied for interaction. After answering the test paper about the will of fire, the second Hokage, who had experienced the written test for the first time, was still a little nervous. He was looking forward to his scores these days. It can be seen that Kianju Tobarama is very worried about the situation where Ching Shui got perfect marks but he only got 99. Kid, stop bragging. If you can make a seven-year-old child master A-level ninjutsu, I don't think Monkey will be the principal of the ninja school. You will be the most suitable one. Kianju Tobarama waved his hand disdainfully. Even if I teach this child, I can't guarantee that she will get started within a week, let alone you kid. Ching Shui chuckled softly. Let's stick to the old rules. If you lose, I promise you something. If you win, you don't have to sit down anymore. You can just give me some guidance on my practice occasionally. If you want to become my teacher, you might as well say so, although I won't agree. Qian Shu Feijian laughed. It sounded to him that Ching Shui was trying every possible way to get him to teach him. What's strange is that Kianju Tojian doesn't feel any disgust, and is actually a little relieved in his heart. However, his mouth was still so tough, and he looked like he would never teach Ching Shui. Old man, you seem to be a bit narcissistic. I suggest you reflect on your will of fire. Ching Shui commented ruthlessly and sharply on Tobarama, then turned to Nohara Lin and said with a slight hesitation. Lin, I have a bold idea, which may allow you to quickly learn the art of palm immortality. However, this requires you to trust me very much, and I can't guarantee success. Do you want to try? Nohara Lin blinked, is there such a good thing? Please feel free to do it, Ching Shui Kun, I don't mind even if there are risks. Ching Shui nodded. In that case, let's go to the Hokage building and wait there for Kai and his father. To thoroughly master the technique, you must use actual combat to do it. This can also help Mr. Dai get rid of his stubborn illness. I have observed Mr. Dai from a distance. Although his body is very strong, he has too many hidden diseases, which may affect his ninja career. The eyes of Shisui on the side lit up. Could it be that my brother is really a genius who inherited the will of fire? Nohara Lin nodded repeatedly. If everything goes well, this should be the first patient she sees in her ninja career, which will be very memorable. Hash, father, I am a genius, a hard-working genius recognized by Ching Shui Kun, who is even more genius than Kakashi. This is youth, my youth is burning because of the encouragement of friends. Metkai ran full of energy, and his whole body seemed to have endless strength. At the age of seven, his mind was far from as strong as it would be a few years later. After being hit, he would doubt himself and find Matei and his costumes too funny. But Ching Shui, who is currently known as the number one genius in Konoha, told him bluntly, you are a genius, and you are the genius who inspired Ching Shui. The heart of cultivation that occasionally wavered became extremely strong under Ching Shui's praise. Behind him, Matt Dai looked at the energetic Met Kai with relief. He first cheered loudly for his son, but his steps slowly slowed down. Kai, you have found a great friend. I am proud of you. Matt's big hands covered his lower back, where he was feeling bone-crushing pain. Years of lack of nutrition and overloaded training made this man with an iron will helplessly realize the pain of injuries. Ching Shui Jun, are you practicing hard today? Not far away, Matt Day's eyes lit up when he heard his son's excited voice. He suppressed the pain in his waist, showed his signature shining teeth, and ran forward. Matt Dai wanted to thank Ching Shui, the genius who truly supported his son's youth. You're very energetic today, Kai. 
Cheng Shui faced the shining light of Metkai's teeth and responded with the same action, giving him a thumbs up. Shisui and Nohara Lin blinked, turned their heads and exchanged glances, and both of them nodded tacitly. As expected of my brother, Ching Shui Kun, he looks so handsome no matter what he does. Kai, I came to you today because I want your help with something. Ching Shui patted Metkai on the shoulder. As you know, I have recently been practicing medical ninjutsu and gained some experience. If possible, please allow me to check the health of you and your father. After all, the burning body of youth is more valuable for research. Please forgive me for being presumptuous, Kai. Ching Shui skillfully changed the language system into the youth form, but Metkai's expression gradually became serious. Although Metkai kept talking about youth, even the questions on the test paper talked about youth to Sarutobi Hirazan and the will of fire. But he is not a fool. He has beast-like intuition and can distinguish between good and evil in people. But all this young beast could see was Ching Shui's sincere heart as gold. Ching Shui Jun, my lifelong rival, how do you ask me to repay this kindness? Metkai vividly remembered that after he lost strength due to his sparring with Ching Shui, the palm immortal technique gave him a great recovery from overworked muscles. It could be said that his fatigue was eliminated in an instant. After returning home, when Metkai excitedly told his father about this matter, he learned that this was an A-level ninjutsu that not many Junin knew, and only a few in the entire Konoha. Talent will. And those ninjas other than Ching Shui, such as Tsunade and the Hokage Anbu, are beyond the reach of the Matt family. What are you talking about, Kai, where is the kindness? Ching Shui patted his strong shoulder with a smile and said softly, this is the will of fire and youth. You help me and I will help you, right? Metkai clenched his fists and tears flowed down like streams. Ching Shui stared at his tears with curiosity. The tears of the Matt family seemed to flow down in streams. Is this some special blood inheritance limit? At this time, a stronger green weirdo in tight clothes rushed over, hugged Metkai with tears in his eyes, and even wanted to pull Ching Shui to hold him and cry together. Kai, Dad is really happy that you have found a lifelong rival and youth partner. Ching Shui Kun, please let me introduce myself. I am Kai's father. Konoha's crazy Adai. After the father and son had rejuvenated, Mad Dai introduced himself to Ching Shui. Ching Shui nodded seriously and extended his hand to him, Nice to meet you, Mr. Dai. The two hands were held together, and an inexplicable light appeared in Matt's eyes. He patted his chest hard, seeming to have forgotten the stinging pain in his waist, and said loudly, Ching Shui Jun, you can do anything you want to my body, please don't be polite. Ah, that doesn't have to be the case. Don't worry, Mr. Dai. It's just a simple physical check. Although Ching Shui was a little nervous, he kept a smile on his face and motioned for Mad Dai and Mad Kai to leave with him. At this moment, Ching Shui also sensed a vague chakra and locked his position from the direction of the Hokage building not far away. The telescope technique. Very good. I came to the Hokage building specifically to attract your attention. The sensory ninjutsu from Tobarama Senju, the technique used to capture Hirazan Serutobi, is as easy as a father teaching his son. The satisfaction in Ching Shui's eyes flashed away, and the group came to a piece of grass. Serutobi Hirazan's chakra kept staring closely at them, maintaining constant attention. Lie down, Mr. Day. Oh, got it, Lord Ching Shui. Matt Dai nodded and lay down obediently on the soft grass. Please keep quiet about what happens next, everyone. The Magatama in Ching Shui's eyes slowly rotated, and in front of Nohara Rin, Metkai, and the peeping Serutobi Hirazan, he opened the double Magatama Sharingan. Nohara Lin and Metkai looked at Ching Shui in shock. Is this an all-around genius? In the Hokage building, the third Hokage frowned, but then he shook his head and said to himself. The Sharingan, that's right. With this little guy Ching Shui's talent and his feelings for the village and his companions, it would be strange not to awaken the Sharingan. But why show your Sharingan now? Serutobi Hirazan became curious, and even chose not to deal with the government affairs on the table for the time being, and looked at it attentively. Shisui frowned slightly, but still controlled his expression well. The Sharingan has the ability to observe the flow of chakra. This has a miraculous effect on treating hidden injuries with medical ninjutsu. Ching Shui stared at Mad Day's strong body and couldn't help but admire it secretly. 
This is an example of realizing 120% of your limited talent. Although Matt Day's body does not look particularly strong, every muscle is full of traces of training and contains extremely amazing strength. Especially the meridians in his body, each one is extremely thick and flexible, several times that of an ordinary person. But in contrast, Matt Day's shocking hidden injury. Blocked congestion deposited in deep muscles, slight cracking caused by excessive operation of internal organs, bone dislocation and aging. Without adequate nutritional supplements, timely release and adjustment of medications after training, even if the steel is smelted hundreds of times, cracks will appear in the forging day after day. Ching Shui sighed from the bottom of his heart, with a hint of admiration in his eyes, and shook his head. Ah, as if responding to Ching Shui's expression, Mad Dai covered his waist in pain and moaned softly. If Ching Shui hadn't offered to help him heal, perhaps this great father would have been able to withstand the pain in front of Metkai. But with the hope of healing, Met Dai also relaxed. Ching Shui, is my father okay? Metkai first looked at Ching Shui, who was full of emotion and regret, and then looked at his father, who was fine just now but was now groaning, with a look of horror on his face. Is this something bad or nothing? Can it be cured? Give me an accurate letter. Your father's matter is not easy to deal with. It's a bit troublesome. Ching Shui pondered until he heard, coming from the line target, Metkai, you gain muscle strength, a little. Just now he laughed and said neatly, but it doesn't matter. If I'm here, there will be no problem. Metkai exhaled a long breath and held Ching Shui's hand gratefully. Ching Shui Jun, thanks to you. Lin, next, it's your turn. Ching Shui turned his head and looked at Nohara Lin, are you ready? Nohara Lin looked at the gorgeous blood in Ching Shui's eyes and the dark Magatama. Although she didn't know what Ching Shui was going to do and was a little nervous inside, she still smiled and nodded, it has been prepared for a long time, Ching Shui Kun. Okay. Ching Shui nodded, and his pupils gently entered her skull. At this moment, Nohara Lin's eyes also showed the shape of Sharingan. Nohara Lin, who was immersed in the illusion, was surprised to find that her vision was synchronized with Ching Shui's. Even when driving the Palm Senjutsu, the feeling of mobilizing chakra was extremely clear, as if she was operating it. Shisui's talent for illusions came into play in Ching Shui's hands, making Nohara Rin's feelings become extremely real. Nohara Lin, who was so focused, didn't even realize that when Ching Shui was carefully removing the pain from Mad Day's body, green fluorescence slowly lit up in her hands. Although it is very weak, it is an undisputed palm magic. Seeing this scene, Seru Tobi Hirazan unconsciously took out the cigarette stick, lit it, and slowly exhaled a puff of smoke, good boy. These eyes that scare the world turned into eyes of kindness in Ching Shui's hands. Mirror Maybe there will be an Uchiha who will surpass you. Looking at his friend's outstanding offspring, Hirazan Serutobi sighed, thinking of his rebellious young son. A meal of fried meat with a leather belt failed to educate at all. Instead, it inspired Asuma Serutobi's rebellious psychology. Not only did he not admit his mistake, he even threatened to run away from home and stay away from the hypocritical Hokage and Konoha. Hey, asthma, asthma, why can't you learn from Ching Shui? Thinking of this, a glimmer of light flashed in Serutobi Hirazan's eyes, it seems to be a good idea, let me think about it again. And at the same time, Senju Tobarama silently watched Ching Shui's operation. If he didn't smoke or Ching Shui didn't have the conditions in his body, he would have lit one like Serutobi Hirazan. What did he see? The evil Sharingan of the Uchiha clan turned out to be a teaching tool, allowing a seven-year-old ninja school student to learn the A-level ninjutsu Shosenjutsu. Among them, although there are many factors such as Nohara Lin's talent for medical ninjutsu, matching chakra attributes, and trust in Ching Shui, the facts are facts. Kianju Tojian, who had already made a bet with Ching Shui, did not intend to break the deal. Although not abiding by the agreement would not put any mental burden on Senju Tojian's mentality, but facing Ching Shui, he sincerely did not want to do this. It's nothing more than teaching this kid a few ordinary ninjutsu. After all, Breaking one's trust is not in line with the will of fire. Well, that's it. Senju Tobarama said to himself, but there was a smile on his lips unconsciously. Coming from the line target Senju Tobarama, you get fire escape and fire extinguishing. When the strange reward arrived, Ching Shui did not pay attention to it. 
Instead, he repaired Matt Day's body very seriously. Even though there were fine beads of sweat in the tip of his nose, the chakra in his palm was still the same as when it started. Stablize. A man who worked so hard was worthy of Ching Shui's respect and his efforts. Metkai watched nervously as Ching Shui treated his father. His mouth was dry and he didn't even dare to breathe. Nohara Lin was immersed in the world of illusion, and felt the charm of Ching Shui's palm magic with utmost seriousness. Shisui looked at Ching Shui with admiration. At this moment, he only felt that his brother was the one who understood the will of fire best among Konoha. Matt Dai seemed to be in a cloud. The pain that he could only rely on his willpower to overcome in the past was completely eliminated by Ching Shui, causing this iron-clad man to fall into a deep sleep, even snoring. After a long time, Ching Shui nodded and wiped his sweat, succeeded. Metkai immediately came over nervously. Ching Shui, is my father okay? Before Ching Shui could answer, Matt Dai suddenly jumped up from the ground, turned 720 degrees in the air, and landed in an extremely abstract and difficult posture, with tears streaming down his face. My body has rekindled the youthfulness of a boy. Such a powerful, powerful youth. Matt Dai enjoyed his body that was like a new one. The relief brought by the elimination of the stubborn diseases that had plagued him for decades was simply unspeakable for a taijutsu ninja. Mr. Dai, you need to check with me regularly in the future. There is no problem with high-intensity training, but logistics also need to keep up. Ching Shui looked at Matt Dai who was jumping up and down with a smile and said slowly. Matt Dai's movements froze. As an adult, couldn't he understand what Ching Shui meant? But when he turned back, Ching Shui had already started to nurse Metkai back to health. His body is quite strong, Kai. If you have any problems, come to me in time. Matt Dai had mixed feelings in his heart. He was a man who didn't want to owe anything to others, but what could he have to repay Ching Shui's selfless kindness? Mr. Dai, I have a heartfelt request, and I hope you can consider it. Matt Dai's heart moved, and he immediately expressed his stance. Please say it, Lord Ching Shui, as long as I can do it. You know, Mr. Dai, the Uchiha clan has never welcomed outsiders in and out. It is difficult to find a nursing home that is willing to come. Ching Shui smiled awkwardly. In terms of salary, I can only provide food and accommodation, and the remuneration will be settled according to sea level tasks. However, if it is Dai and Kaijin, I can also take over the training resources. Matt Dai was stunned for a moment, and his face turned red rarely. At that moment, he even thought that Ching Shui might know his secret and wanted him to teach him the eight armor dungeon techniques. A fierce feeling of guilt surged into his heart. Food, accommodation and training resources are all included. For a genin who usually has no one to join a team and can only receive tasks such as finding cats and selling coolies, he is also willing to give silver tails to another C-level task. Hearing this treatment, not only Metkai was stunned, but even Shisui looked at his brother with strange eyes. Although our family is rich, is it a bit too generous? During the Warring States period, those aristocratic warriors who maintained their lives were treated like this at most. For Amir Jenin, even if he is the father of a friend, this treatment is too generous. Why not do it for charity? Matt Dai stared at Ching Shui. After a moment, he seemed to have made some decision in his heart, and nodded resolutely. Since it is Ching Shui Jun's request, I, Crazy Adai, will comply. And a moment later, a beautiful blonde woman with a hint of drunken blush on her face was not far away looking at Nohara Lin who woke up from the illusion and was surprised to try to use the palm immortal technique, and Ching Shui who was guiding her on the details, slowly he stood up slowly and walked over. Interesting Uchiha brat, are you interested in medical ninjutsu? Big and good looking. This was Ching Shui's first impression of the woman Tsunade. This is not because Ching Shui is superficial, but her external features are a bit obvious. Even the Sharingan has a hard time resisting this huge illusion. I'm very interested. Medical ninjutsu can help our companions, so that they can better fulfill their talents and survive on the battlefield. Ching Shui and Tsunade looked into each other's beautiful brown eyes and said slowly. Kid, the battlefield will only make anyone's fate miserable, and medical ninjutsu can't save anyone. With a trace of disdain and sadness in Tsunade's eyes, she said coldly, you are already 15 or 16 years old, right? Why are you still so childish? You are not just another idiot who wants to become Hokage, are you? 
You are still an Uchiha, I really don't know what to say about you. After the Second Ninja War, after the tragic deaths of his younger brothers Naoki and Kato Dan, Tsunade not only suffered from hemophobia at this time, but also began to have strong resistance to becoming Hokage, believing that only idiots can will be Hokage. Kianju Tobarama stared at his beloved granddaughter in silence, and his heart, which had been joyful just now, suddenly became cold. What happened? That would make Tsunade say such sad words and have such a big prejudice against Naruto. What made Senju Tobarama even more uneasy was that he saw a hint of world weariness between Tsunade's eyebrows. After Tsunade finished speaking, Medakai, Metadai, Nohara Rin and Shisui all looked at her in shock. No one expected that the Sanin of Konoha and the disciple of the third Hokage would say such rebellious words. Discourse. This is really not in line with the will of fire. I didn't want to become Hokage, I just wanted to protect the people around me. Ching Shui shook his head and said slowly. HMPH, you innocent brat. Tsunade snorted noncommittally, staring at Ching Shui's Sharingan without hesitation, and then looked at Nohara Rin beside her, feeling a bit of shock in her heart. Can the Sharingan of the Uchiha clan still be used in this way? A little girl who didn't even have a ninja forehead protector, with the help of the Sharingan, mastered the palm senjutsu so easily. Tsunade recalled the idea she came up with, adding a medical ninja to each team to ensure the survival rate of ninjas. If only I could have the help of the Sharingan. But as soon as this thought came up, Tsunade threw it out of her mind. Her important people died one after another from Senju Hashirama, Senju Tobarama to Noshu. She was too tired to think about it. What's your name? After getting Ching Shui's answer, Tsunade said slowly, use your palm ninjutsu. Medical ninjutsu is not a simple technique. Rough mastery will only make the patient's injury worse. His name is Ching Shui, and he is my lifelong rival. Metkai frowned and shouted to Tsunade. Ching Shui's green ninjutsu is not crude, he uses it very well. How can an ant like you understand the youthful bond between us? Ant, Tsunade's eyes narrowed slightly, and there was a hint of murderous intent in her eyes. Sister Tsunade, please guide me, I'm sorry. Ching Shui kicked Metkai without any trace and stood in front of him, gathering exquisite medical chakra in his hands. You kid, your words are quite pleasant. Tsunade snorted glanced at the confused Metkai fiercely, and seriously looked at Ching Shui's palm immortal technique. But immediately, Tsunade looked more and more seriously, even the blush on her face gradually dissipated, and she was stunned. Even for the same technique, different people have very different feelings when using it. Especially for the palm immortal technique, which requires extremely sophisticated chakra control ability, everyone's method is different. But Ching Shui's palm immortal technique gave Tsunade an extremely familiar yet unfamiliar feeling, which made her think deeply. Ching Shui looked at Tsunade with a smile, and there was even a hint of kindness in his eyes. Tsunade stared blankly at Ching Shui, with the scene from 30 years ago appearing in her eyes. At that time, she was still a little girl, younger than Nohara Rin. Sitting on the second grandfather's desk and making a lot of noise, the helpless Senju Tobarama could only coax her gently and teach Tsunade step by step the palm magic that she always wanted to do. It can be said that those were the most carefree days in Tsunade's life. But soon, the nightmare began. Her relatives died in the battle one by one, and her childhood friends and teachers have also become strangers. Some listen to the toad's prophecy, some pursue immortality, and some are obsessed with the power of balance. Tsunade was left alone, wandering in this strange ninja world. You, after a long time, Tsunade woke up. She looked at Ching Shui's Sharingan and caring eyes with a complex expression, and sighed unconsciously. It looks like, it really looks like. But Ching Shui's Sharingan reminded Tsunade of the differences between the two, which made her feel ridiculous and funny. If the second grandfather knew that he thought an Uchiha brat looked like him, would he be so angry that he would come back from the pure land and scold her? But if it could come true, Tsunade wouldn't mind doing it. You have learned the palm sensibility very well, you are very talented. Tsunade sighed feebly, and the fluorescent light also lit up in her hand, and she said slowly. But it can still be improved. I will demonstrate the changes in the nature of the Yang escape chakra, and you can watch it carefully. Tsunade's palm senjutsu changes forms, and she is confident in the use of medical ninjutsu. 
Even the Senju Tobarama who taught her back then would not be stronger than her. Ching Shui nodded, the Magatama in his eyes spinning, and he carefully observed the flow of chakra throughout Tsunade's body. This is Uchiha's talent. Ninjutsu inventor, Senju Tobarama version, for most ninjutsu, you have a strong ability to learn and transform. This is the talent of Senju. With the combination of the two abilities, Ching Shui easily simulated Tsunade's special palm immortal technique, and said to her with a smile, is that so? Tsunade, who had escaped from the hallucination just now, fell into confusion again. When she was a child, Tsunade would experience this scene every time she came up with some tricks to show off to Senju Tobarama. The second grandfather, who was extremely talented, could always reproduce her ninjutsu in the next moment, and then gently touched her head. Quote dot dot dot, I have nothing more to teach you, little Ching Shui. Tsunade let out a long breath, stared at Ching Shui's face rudely but seriously, turned around suddenly and left, with a trace of tears in her eyes for no reason. This is not only a catalyst for alcohol, but also a true portrayal of her lonely heart. Ching Shui looked at her back silently. But Senju Tobarama couldn't bear it anymore. Ching Shui, tell me, what happened to Tsunade? I only know a rough idea about her. Ching Shui did not whet Tobarama's appetite. It could be seen that the former second Hokage was really anxious. Her younger brother Naoki died in the Second Ninja War, and it seems that another romantic partner also died. In that war, Sancho Hanzo fought against Tsunade, Orochimaru and Jiraiya, and was given their title of Sanin became famous throughout Konoha. But I heard that there seems to be a rift in the relationship between these three people recently, and they even have conflicts with their teacher, the third Hokage. According to rumors, she suffers from hemophobia and will become dizzy when seeing blood, but we can't be sure whether it is true or not. Kianju Tobarama frowned, was even the rope tree dead? But he didn't think too much. The war was so cruel. Even he, the second generation Hokage, died, let alone the rope tree. But even so, Tsunade's fate still made him feel heartbroken. There's nothing we can do about it, Tobarama. Ching Shui sat next to Senju Tobarama and said with emotion. Tsunade's childhood life was so enviable, with a very high background and many elders who loved her, but it turned around surprisingly quickly. The continuous changes and wars, as well as your treatment of the Thousand Hands clan, have made it almost impossible for her to find those relatives who love her, and her former companions have also taken other paths. This feeling of being alone is quite fatal to a woman, right? Ching Shui still left half of his words unsaid. If Senju Tobarama learns that Jiraiya has become a loyal thug of Myoboku Mountain, even his forehead protector has been changed, Orochimaru is obsessed with human body research, and even the children of his own village are not spared, including Shimura Danzo and Serutobi Hiruzen's participation. What would he think? It's just that Ching Shui didn't need to tell him these things, because only by slowly witnessing it all with his eyes would Qian Shu Tojian feel more real. And more anger. Qian Shu Feijian remained silent, he did not doubt what Ching Shui said. The ninja world is such a world. After everyone has different goals, former friends and partners will become strangers, and they will even kill them. Bonds, friendships, teachers and students, killing each other in order to achieve goals is the norm. This is the case for Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, Orochimaru and the third Hokage, Uchiha Obito and Namikaze Minato, Jiraiya and Nagato, and many unknown ninjas are also performing such dramas. But that's not the point. The key is that when Senju Tobarama saw Tsunade's disdain for being Hokage, and the uncontrollable sadness in her eyes, he truly felt sadness. Konoha, a village originally established to protect everyone, failed to protect even the people closest to the Hokage. In the original time and space, Senju Tobarama saw Tsunade, the Hokage, who had broken through the inner demons and became resolute and determined again, but what he saw now was the most vulnerable moment in Tsunade's life. Suna chan Senju Tobarama shook his head, he was suddenly a little panicked about the prospect of Konoha. Even if there are reasons like this, but even the granddaughter of two generations of Hokage disdains becoming Hokage, will the future of this village really be good? What does Konoha look like today under the governance of Hiruzen Serutobi and Danzo Shimura? Is it Tsunade's personal tragedy, or is there something wrong with the entire village? Senju Tobarama began to ponder, and complicated emotions entangled his heart. Ching Shui, on the other hand, 
had different ideas. There are many ways to enter the master disciple inheritance of the Hokage line. In a broad sense, as long as there is blood connection, master disciple relationship and Hokage, that's it. Ching Shui is originally a descendant of Uchiha Kagami, and in the master disciple inheritance, the only ones before Ching Shui now are Orochimaru, Tsunade and Namikaze Minato, and the possibility of Jiraiya accepting a disciple is very small. Originally, Ching Shui planned to take over Obito Uchiha's position and become a disciple of Minato Namikaze, but in fact, it would be a better choice to become a disciple of Tsunade. After all, Namikaze Minato's abilities are not much different from those of Senju Tobi, even if they have bound talents, they are very similar. But Tsunade is different, she has the blood of Senju Hashirama and Uzumaki Mito flowing in her body, and she also has the talent for sealing. Moreover, his figure, appearance, etc., all appeal to Ching Shui. Sometimes, if you want to become Hokage, you can first become a Hokage man. Tobarama, this is why I summoned your soul into my body. The hidden village system currently established cannot bring peace to Konoha and the ninja world. Ching Shui raised his head, stared at the blue sky from his perspective and Kianju Fajian, and said slowly, this is not your fault, but it still needs someone to solve it. Perhaps the ninja world will usher in true peace one day, but during this period, there will be many people who will experience Tsunade's experience, or 10,000 times worse than her. I don't want to wait that long. Senju Tobarama nodded slowly. If he had the clearest and most thorough judgment on the situation in the ninja world, it would be him. In this regard, Uchiha Madara can't do it, and Senju Hashirama can't do it even more. But Ching Shui's next words temporarily made him forget the sadness caused by Tsunade. Although, I wanted to rely on your wisdom, but I found that you were of no use, and I have to do it myself. Comes from the laning target Senju Tobarama. Sword Technique Izuna Uchiha, Analytical Version of Senju Tobarama. Ching Shui Brat, Qian Shu Fei Jian grinded his teeth and was about to retort when he heard Ching Shui continue. Hush, the scores for the Will of Fire test paper will be released tomorrow. I suggest you take a look at the scores before you argue with me, dear second Hokage. It's ridiculous. If I fail your test, there is no need to carve my statue on the Hokage rock. It will be yours instead. Kianju Tojian waved his hand with a very determined and confident expression. Ching Shui shrugged. Senju Tobarama may be a good Hokage and a good teacher, but he is definitely not a good student. No matter how good the answer is, if it is delivered in a preachy and critical tone from the beginning, it will be strange for the judge to give high marks. The Will of Fire exam tests obedience, not the true understanding of the Will of Fire. Hash. The next day. Ninja School. Ching Shui looked at the perfect test paper in his hand and Serutobi Hiruzen's careful comments, and nodded casually. For him, this is no different from writing an elementary school composition. When Ching Shui got a perfect score, Qian Shu Feijian had already sensed something was wrong and said with a stern mouth, it's just a tie. At this time, an unpleasant cry sounded from the front. You 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 you, what are all these things I wrote? Why did I answer such a thing? Anata Kojura burst into tears, crying bitterly at Sandai's harsh criticism. Senju Tobarama froze completely. Could it be that he didn't answer with full marks? Oh, Tobarama, look at what you wrote, it makes other children cry. The students around him all looked at Anata Kojura strangely. It is indeed difficult to get high marks in the Will of Fire class, but it is basically not difficult to pass. As long as you don't scold Naruto, you can basically pass. Even for Uchiha Obito's rebellious answer, Serutobi Hiruzen gave him a 60 out of all considerations. In the entire ninja school, apart from Obito Uchiha who felt that he was being targeted, the only two unhappy brothers were Serutobi Asuma and Anata Kojura. Impossible, maybe I answered too well, and the score was too high, which may have surprised the child. Kianju Tobarama felt bad in his heart, but he still had a tough mouth. Ching Shui shrugged walked over slowly, sat next to Anata Kojura, and comforted him softly. At the same time, Ching Shui picked up his test paper and almost laughed rudely. The oncoming scores were really impactful. A big zero written boldly in red pen, with an angry exclamation mark next to it. And under this zero score, there were more criticisms than a line of comments given to Ching Shui. You are so ambitious and impetuous. 
The will of fire is not something you can just talk about on paper. Learning to be a ninja first is your top priority. Ching Shui didn't hold back and use the secret technique deep in his bloodline on Senju Tobarama, Uchiha laughed wildly. At this moment, Ching Shui forgot about his character and just wanted to laugh at the common Hokage in front of him. He laughed like a pig. The condescending tone of the text, combined with the unusual difficulty of this set of test papers, Ching Shui was almost certain that everything from setting the questions to judging the papers was definitely written by Hiruzen Serutobi. Senju Tobarama, on the other hand, stared at Serutobi Hiruzen's comments without moving, but his whole body turned red rapidly from the inside out, and he just had to open a hole in his head and spit out boiling steam. Compared to Ching Shui, Senju Tobarama doesn't need to analyze so much, he knows Serutobi Hiruzen's handwriting. Boiling Escape, Hongwen Tobarama's Jutsu. Senju Tobarama really didn't expect that his beloved disciple Hiruzen would actually give his answer a zero point, especially the severe criticism, which probably meant. Are you worthy enough to talk to me about the will of fire? Roll, okay, okay, okay. Thousand hands Tobarama murmured to himself, you'd better not let me seize the opportunity, monkey. I have to say that Senju Tobarama's expression and posture at this moment were exactly the same as Sarutobi Hiruzen who was about to whip Asuma with a belt. Perhaps, this is called the inheritance of Master Disciple. Let me think about it, what did a certain Hokage say? Ching Shui smiled and counted on his fingers. The score is so high that people are so surprised. Writing a perfect test paper can be regarded as teaching me. If the score is not as high as mine, someone's Hokage rock will be replaced with my avatar. What else is there? Why don't you help me think about it? After all, you said it yourself. You must remember it better than me. Hey, this is another kind of perfect score. You don't even have a score, but you have a perfect score in reverse. Senju Tobarama grinded his teeth silently, this means he is dead, otherwise he would have picked up the belt and rushed into the Hokage building by now, and he must let Serutobi Hiruzen know who is the master. Little monkey boy, if I hadn't cut off the queen for you back then, would it be your turn to talk about the will of fire with me here? Putting aside the fact that the respondent is a genin, you still dare to say that I am not worthy of being a ninja. Grass, coming from the line target Senju Tobarama, you have obtained ninjutsu senju monster power. Ching Shui couldn't help but laugh. This reward seemed to correspond to Senju Tobarama's mood at the moment. Did he want to blow Serutobi Hiruzen's head off with one punch? Okay, Tobarama, Serutobi Hiruzen doesn't even know that you answered the paper. Who told you to speak so directly? That's not okay. What I said are just good words to criticize the current ills. Why does he dare to say that to me? Qian Shu Fajian waved his hand and said in a faint tone. Monkey, you'd better manage the village so that there's no fault, otherwise you'd better pray that you won't have a chance to see me. Ching Shui sighed. Does Senju Tobarama have this opportunity? That's probably true. Senju Tobarama's power allowed Ching Shui to borrow his power. If Senju Tobarama planned to teach his beloved disciples a lesson at the right time, Ching Shui really wouldn't mind letting him use his body for a while. Ching Shui quite likes to watch the master teach his rebellious disciples. When the time comes, he just yells, come on, and that's it. Kid, do me a favor. Senju Tobarama gradually cooled down, looked at the very sad Anata Kojura, and whispered, help me comfort this child. Although he doesn't know that this is a monkey, even if a teacher teaches him this, it is too harsh. Quote, after all, it's my problem. Ching Shui nodded, he was still an old man with a conscience, but he didn't say anything and pouted at him. Seeing this, Senju Tobarama sighed helplessly. I know, I know, I just need to teach you a few ninjutsu. I won't regret it. However, don't get me wrong. It's just casual teaching, not a master-disciple relationship. Ching Shui chuckled and glanced at Senju Tobarama with disdain. I am a Konoha ninja. Have you ever heard of any Konoha ninja who would become a disciple of a guy who scored zero points in the Will of Fire? You are a bit trustworthy, Tobarama. Kianju Tobarama's gaze was very dangerous. Although he couldn't understand what Pu Shin meant for the moment, he felt it was extremely insulting. But Ching Shui spread his hands indifferently, as if he could do anything to me, laughed three times, turned around and left in a cool manner. Ching Shui Kun, what should I do? I definitely can't become a ninja. 
I can't become a ninja, how can I make money? If I can't make money, my dream will be shattered. When Anata Kojura saw the gentle Ching Shui, he cried louder, My dream in this life is to inherit the secret recipe of meatballs left by my grandfather and save enough money to open a three-color meatball shop. Why, why did I answer such a bad test paper? Hearing this, Ching Shui was a little surprised. Is this Anata Kojura the future owner of the three-color meatball shop? Is this your dream, Anata Kun? Ching Shui silently looked at the test paper in his hand again. This child is probably not suitable to be a ninja. If that's the case, then stop being a ninja. Anata Kojura cried louder, and even Ching Shui said that he probably really had no hope. Go and open a meatball shop. The bunk next to Ichiraku Ramen belongs to me. Go there and work hard, rice field. Ching Shui patted his shoulder. I won't collect the rent until you reach adulthood. The profit sharing will be discussed after you start working. First, try to make the three-color meatballs more delicious. Anata Kojura stopped crying immediately, and his hands started to shake. Really, is it true? Ching Shui Kun. In the back row of the class, Sarutobi Asuma was holding his buttocks that was still aching, looking at this scene with complicated eyes, his mind was like mush. Sarutobi Asuma couldn't figure out what the will of fire was. In his opinion, if Ching Shui followed the will of fire, he should cheer for Anata Kojura and ask him not to be discouraged and continue to work hard to become a Konoha ninja. But Ching Shui did not, and directly funded Anata Kojura to open a store. Why, why, why would Ching Shui encourage people like Metkai to move forward step by step, but not encourage Anata Kojura? But seeing Kojura Anata's smiling face full of joy, Asuma fell into confusion. Is it such a happy thing to not be a ninja? But that smile that comes from the heart cannot be faked, which means that what Ching Shui did was not wrong. Asuma slowly crumpled the will of fire test paper in his hand into a ball, stared at Ching Shui intently, slowly exhaled a breath of turbid air, and his eyes became firm. He has decided to find a suitable time to ask Ching Shui face to face, what is the will of fire? Compared to the scenes he heard and witnessed at home that made Asuma feel hypocritical and uncomfortable, he believed more in Ching Shui who made his friends and classmates smile in front of him. Ching Shui brat, I asked you to help him, not to tell him to stop being a ninja. Senju Tobarama frowned, seemingly dissatisfied. What's the use, being a ninja and going to die? Ching Shui shook his head and said slowly, a student whose talent is so poor that he can barely master the three body techniques, even if he puts in 120% of his sweat, will be lucky to be a chunin in this life. Even greater the possibility is to be a genin for life. When war breaks out in a few years, people like him will be cannon fodder. Not even their bodies will be found on the battlefield. Do you think Konoha needs a cannon fodder or a boss who makes delicious three-color meatballs, Tobarama? Kianju Tobarama was stunned for a moment, he had never thought about it from this aspect. But after careful consideration, he felt that what Ching Shui said was correct, but something seemed a little strange. Kianju Tobijian was silent, and after a moment he nodded slowly, maybe, you did the right thing. Learn from me, Tobarama. Ching Shui shrugged, of course what I did was right, otherwise would it be right for you to score zero points? Evil Uchiha brat, hash, it's delicious, Ching Shui, your cooking is really good. At the Ching Shui family's dinner table, Matt's triumphant chopsticks and forklift mouth launched a youthful attack on the rich meat, and he was enjoying the meal. After a while, he had already eaten eight bowls of rice. Although Ching Shui's eating appearance is more gentle, his appetite is no less than that of Metkai. In fact, part of the strength of a ninja can be seen from the amount of food he eats. Ninjas who can fight may not be able to eat them, but ninjas who cannot eat can basically not fight them. If you can't even eat, how can you have the strength to beat someone? Matt Dai looked at his son who was eating fiercely with a smile, with sadness, gratitude and shyness in his eyes. Compared to Metkai who was still a child, although Metkai always shouts about youth, he is also an adult with a normal mind. There is almost everything on the table, from red meat to white meat, from chicken, duck, fish, goose, to medicinal foods, and the nutritious meals seem to have been carefully calculated. To put it bluntly, this is probably the only food the Hokage family has. It was only then that Mad Dai finally understood what Ching Shui meant by providing food and housing, and what kind of treatment it was. Uncle Dai, 
move your chopsticks, why are you just looking at it? While Matt Dai was watching silently, waiting for Ching Shui and Shisui to eat first, Ching Shui put a large bowl of beef in front of him with a smile, and handed him a bowl of rice. If you don't eat enough, you will get sick from overwork and practice. I will have to continue to help you heal. You trust me so much, Uncle Dai. You're welcome. Only when you are full can you have the strength to help our family take care of the hospital. This is the treatment we have agreed upon before. Mad Dai stared blankly at Ching Shui in front of him who seemed to be blaming him. He smelled the aroma of beef and felt a little dazed for a moment. Mad Dai, who has been in Konoha for decades and has never been taken seriously by anyone, felt the respect and warmth from the heart of others for the first time. However, Ching Shui is an Uchiha. What about Uchiha, Uchiha? Metkai took a deep breath, nodded heavily towards Ching Shui, picked up a piece of ribs that Metkai was interested in, accurately picked it up before him, put it in his mouth and started chewing it. Father, Kai, eating is also a kind of practice. If you don't treat Ching Shui Jun's food with a youthful attitude, it will be a sin. Matt Dai laughed and extended his thumb towards Ching Shui. Don't worry, Lord Ching Shui, I will definitely be the guardian of the Ching Shui family. Matt bit the word, Ching Shui family, a little hard as he put it on his head. I have always believed in you, Uncle Dai. Ching Shui smiled and gave a thumbs up. Ching Shui didn't mind at all that Matt Dai and Met Kai ate a lot. On the contrary, the more they ate, the better. Matt Dai and Matt Kai, who had not had abundant resources since childhood, had their wounds repaired and had enough food in Ching Shui. When the time comes to bloom their youth, they would not only be able to kick to death the seven people who endured the sword and the Uchiha who were crippled. Madara's half-body is gone. Anyway, it's absolutely impossible for Ching Shui to be the one kicking. It's just dozens of tons of meat. Compared to Yi Kai's power, it's simply cheap and free of charge. In this round of angel investment, no one in Konoha is willing to do it, and Ching Shui certainly won't let it go. Jisui looked at this scene and snorted coldly. Although he felt that his family did not need a nursing home, as a qualified younger brother, he would not question his brother's decision. But, Shisui was determined to eat more of his brother's food than anyone else. Zishui Shuin's face was red and his neck was thick, and he stared at Metkai, vowing to eat more than this idiot. Okay, Kai. After eating, Mad Dai jumped up full of energy. My current practice is to clean the bowls within three minutes, then mop the floor three times, and finally clean the courtyard spotlessly. Oh, I know father. By the way, Ching Shui Kun, Kakashi told me today that if you want to spar with him, go to the village's number one training ground on the weekend, and he will be waiting for you there. Metkai scratched his head in embarrassment. The food was so delicious that he even forgot what his friend had said. After saying that, Matkai quickly put away the dishes, chased Matt Day who had already started washing the dishes, and started doing housework. Hey, I used to wash the dishes at home. Shisui slapped the table. No, I have to wash the dishes too. Ching Shui smiled and narrowed his eyes as he looked at the three people rushing to wash the dishes. Kakashi asked him to discuss, what does this mean? A challenge from a genius. Kianju Tojian looked at this heartwarming scene with complicated eyes. He was thinking, how is Tsunade doing alone at this time? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.